Don't shut up, and I barely have any words for the magnitude of this. Uh, uh, um, I don't even know what to call it. The whole night, I want, I want to call the it spectacle. The spectacle there is a great go. word for what's about to go down in Santa Fe, Texas, at the Fire and Rescue. We want to shout out to Mr. Logan behind the camera, Mr. Braxton, and the fabulous Gardy Garcia, who make up Clear Life Media. Without them, we'd be nothing, nothing. So thank you, Gardy, for all your hard work and putting this together. Clear Life Media, shout out to those guys. Man, I can't wait. We have multiple championship matches. This is Gold Rush. We are featuring not only just the UPW champions, but champions from all over Texas, all the different promotions. Why? Because we are all about community I, I, I here at go the entire list, but I know local, yes. local championship is on the line. DZW is on the line. GCW. Um, every, every single, every single one of our promotions, every single one of our titles is on the line. It is gonna be an insane night. It's me, your boy Chevy Chavere, and Mr. Abel Morales. We are calling this shot tonight. It is going to be fire, man. It is gonna be insane. So join us right now for Gold Rush in Santa Fe, Texas. <laughs> Say, I'm gonna say before it starts, and this might be the one time I actually. Oh no! This may be match of the night. This match is for the, of the night. Local wrestling championship tonight is Gold Rush. So much gold on the line. Local is one of the hottest promotions here in Houston, Texas. Yeah. These guys came all the way, but actually by way of Oklahoma. Some of the Sam Stackhouse, who's could become the ring in a minute, mm -hmm. is coming from Oklahoma to be here. It's gonna be fire. That's fire, right. Daddy, for my man Jaime. Out there, run <laughs> yes. local wrestling. Oh, hi, man. Yeah, I gotta love him. Uh, our friends out loco wrestling. This is Gold Rush. So, we are gonna feature different champions from different promotions all over Texas. And right there is one of them that is Chris Carter, ladies and gentlemen. He's been tearing it up all over if, Southeast Texas. If, uh, if you Texas. don't know who Chris Carter is, you don't know independent Houston wrestling. That's my right. Friend. This man has made a name for himself over the last couple years all through. Texas, um, what, what, what's the biggest thing you can say about Chris Carter? He's brash. He's the most insane wrestler I've ever seen in my, in my entire life. No yes. disregard for his body or anybody else's. Every part of his body is a weapon. It's insane. Yes, he, he, he doesn't care about his own well-being. He cares about the W. He cares about proving the haters wrong. That's what he cares about. And you see he just tossed those titles into the ring. Oh, coming off of the ropes, a bit of showmanship right there. Those titles, he this has the ACW Television Championship and the GCWA Rising Star Championship that he's holding right there in his hands. He is accomplished all across Texas. He's trying to make Mark tonight to win the local championship as well. This is match one, my friends. Match, match one. one of the night, and we already have the Loco Wrestling Championship. I don't know who booked this card, but it came out swinging. Yeah, it, I mean, this is going to be great. That This is what UPW is about. It's not about haters and like looking down on other per people and other promotions. We cooperate with. We're part of the community. We're part of the UPW family. I like that. I love that. UPW. I might have coined that. Family. I think you did. Mm, Were you, you know. the one that at uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> the show of shows, the granddaddy mm. of them all, with that sign? That was not me, but that I want to know you? who it was. The one up in Dallas last yeah, weekend. Yeah. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Yeah, I don't know who at, that was. Look at Car man, Carter, better get ready. I yeah. mean. Car you know, I, I don't care how much flippy do you got. This man fixing to come out. <laughs> He's the anti flippy do. Yeah, he'll stop that flippy do. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I don't like the flippy do. I, I love the flippy do's and I love Chris Carter. Yeah. All right. Now I have never had the pleasure of actually seeing Sam Stackhouse oh, in person. You're never seen him. You're in for a treat, my friend. I am. I mean, you're in for a treat. I 500 pounds Woo! of Stackhouse goodness. Coming to the local ring right now. Man, Mama raised a big boy. Double two belt stack house versus two belt Carter, baby. Yes. All the way from Oklahoma. 
City, baby, coming through. So you said he's two belts. He has the IHW Championship, and the one he's defending right now is the local wrestling championship. All the way from Houston, Texas. Those, those local belts, they don't put on any jabroni. Let me no. tell you that. No, they don't. You got to be fire. If ain't fire, it ain't local. Shout out to Jaime, baby. Shout out to Jaime from <laughs> Loco. <laughs> Does, does his music just say his name over, over and over? Over and over. Stack. Stack House. Stack House. If you can't see me, I'm dancing, baby. Oh, yeah. Stack House in the <laughs> building. Chevy, sit down. I uh, know. <laughs> I ain't. This, this match has already brought me to my feet. I, I'm glad that the cameras are catching you twerking over here. You know. <laughs> I'll dance it up. You Stack know, House in the building. Yeah, I mean, is this, is this bad to say? Is it bad to say that... Stackhouse reminds me of a young Bam Bam Bigelow. No, I think he'd love that. I think, I think he'd he love every second okay. and appreciate that. He's a young man with a dream. He's actually been wrestling, I think, since 09, he told me. And really? over the last two years, his career has exploded. Talk about 10 years in the business not having much success in the last two years. Blowing up. Like, it, it's, it's a rags to riches oh, story. Oh, look there. Look at them. Look at the size difference. Four championships between those two men. Stackhouse Only has weight. Stackhouse has power. But, but Carter has insanity. The man is insane in this ring. And speed. He is quick as a hiccup. Quicker than a hiccup. Quick as a hiccup. I, ben, you've been hanging out in Santa Fe a lot, and I, I love that about you. <laughs> He's going to tell him how the cow ate the cabbage. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this man. I don't know. I got to get him all out. <laughs> all right. So here we go. We're going to have to see about the official introductions here. Steven Stuller in the ring looking dapper as usual. Oh, always. Always. It's going down. Yep. UPW is known for their great ring announcers, I'd say. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Let's see what did there. It took me a second to catch it. I'm not supposed to be clapping on camera, but I don't even care. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> Introducing first, the challenger from the promised land. Reviews for oh, Carter. They don't yeah. know. This Santa Fe crowd may not know what's about to happen to them. That's right. Oh. Santa Fe, get on your feet. Show some respect, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Man, I can't. I, I can't wait. You know what? I don't even have to wait. It's about to start right now. Somebody ring the bell. We, we gotta get. You gotta get it from the ref. Who's our ref here tonight? Who's our ref, Chevy? I, 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 you put me on the spot, my friend. Well, I'm putting myself on the spot because yeah, I don't know. Uh, we've been. We've been. Our refs have been crazy. We've been. I don't know what happened in our ref game, but they've been switching out. All right. Here we go. We got the bell. We this got a it. stare down. This is UPW Gold Rush, baby. It is going down. It's, I've been excited all week. I know you're excited. I can I'm see. I'm excited. Yes. All right. Maybe a little bit of mutual respect Come there. On. You know, I mean, these are two best in the game. Yes. Best in the game. I think this is the first time they've ever crossed paths, too. Oh, is it? Yes. Both out of Loco, too. They've never they've never met in a ring inside of Loco. Um, now, see, we've had Chris Carter and other members of the change here at UPW yes, before. Yes. Most notably, Mason Malice. We've seen him and, quite and a bit uh, here. Muerte um, Silencio has Muerte, also been here. Muerte I, I don't Silencioso. Know. I haven't been following their crew. Yes. They're all still yes, yes. intact, but I know at one point they were all. Yeah, the change has been a, a formidable faction in Texas independent wrestling. Oh, here we go. Uh, of course, it's the showmanship. The showmanship of Chris Carter, the leader of the change. Don't tell that to Mason Malice. All right, well. Mason thinks he's the leader. He told me before <laughs> I announced him. I was like, hey, man, you got any nicknames? Say I'm the leader of the change. Uh, yeah, I was like, wait know. a second. Hold on. Which one of you is like actually that. the leader? I'm not sure. Stackhouse looking a little frustrated with the – I mean, that's the name of the game. I think if Carter's playing a smart game here, hey, don't let him catch me. That's it. That's right. The size, the strength. I don't know if uh, – whoa! 
That big boy got to got a roll on. Yeah, I mean, he went low, but then I Carter went, went high. For, I think he went for the spear. I think that would have ripped Carter in the half. Yeah, but Carter's got the hops to avoid it. I'm pretty sure I can see uh, Carter's backbone through his front. I mean, he is not a big guy. <laughs> But look at him going for the power <laughs> against the King of Thick style. Oh, Sam no. Sam Stackhouse. Oh, oh. He just threw him like a baby. Oh, he no. picked Chris Carter up like a baby. Oh, no. All right. Chris Carter's already asking for a little bit of a break. Whoa, getting caught whoa. Up in the Give ropes. me some distance. Give me some distance, he All said. All right. We got, uh, we, we got a little bit of a break. You know, let's see if we can get back to the action. Chris is trying to look for some support from the fans, but he's not getting it. <laughs> that kid in the first, first row really doesn't like him. Yeah, yeah. That kid in the first row hates everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, it, is it possible for a kid to be a bad guy? I don't know. He looks <laughs> like it. I don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Collar and elbow tie-up. Come on. Uh, uh, kind of. Uh, kind Stackhouse. Of. Stackhouse is just toying with them. Stackhouse is just kind of, kind of playing the waiting game a little bit. <laughs> Oh, now Stackhouse, uh, he's kind of walking away, taking his time. He's yeah, setting the yeah, pace. Yeah, yeah, Another shout-out to uh, Clear Life Media, Mr. Uh -huh. Gardy Garcia running that. Gardy Garcia. Putting it all together, making it happen here. Yes, shout-out to Gardy. Thank you so much for all you do. We'd be nothing without you, Gardy. <laughs> Logan and Braxton on the cameras, getting shout-outs to them. Uh, you're Everybody the, from Clear Life. Logan, Braxton, Gardy. We're, we're really uh, happy and proud that we are being broadcast. Uh, you know, this is UPW's third anniversary show. That's why Gold Rush is so important, so special. This is our third anniversary, and uh, it's the first time that this anniversary is oh! televised, recorded. Stack house. Yeah, well, I don't even know what that. you call that. Lock up to face plant straight in the middle of the ring. Oh, oh Stackhouse, <laughs> Stackhouse is Stackhouse. not a small man lifting Carter well over his head. Uh, Carter might be what you would consider a small man in oh. this situation. German suplex. He's no. going for a German suplex. Uh -uh. That ain't going to happen. Is Stackhouse going to suplex city? No. No, sir. Oh, look. Uh -oh, Stackhouse no is shoving. liking it. I think he still hears his entrance music. Stackhouse. <laughs> oh. Ooh. That flippy dude didn't work, right, Chevy? Right. Oh, Stackhouse, pure power. Right in the middle pure of thickness. the ring. He goes by the uh, moniker of the King of Thick Style. Yes. I really. His name is Sam Stackhouse. I really believe he should go by Sam Sam Thickolo. <laughs> <laughs> that would be more of a. I mean, I'm gonna start calling that. Yeah. Sam yeah. Sam Thickolo. I mean, to the corner, grabbing. You lose a little bit of the yeah, alliteration. Look, I love this. He he just again. Threw Carter like a baby. How many yeah. times have you ever thrown a baby, Abel Morales? I can't say that I've ever thrown a baby, sir. That's what it looks like. <laughs> you say I look like I throw babies? No, no, no. I'm saying if you've ever thrown a baby. Oh, that's, that's what, what that it looks like. like. Okay. I've, I may have thrown a few babies <laughs> sometimes. In your day, you've thrown a baby uh, or two? There's more toddlers. We'll go okay. toddlers. I don't, wanna, I don't want people to hate me. <laughs> I mean, maybe they deserved it. Chris Carter just kind of thought Looking twice. for some space. Yeah. He's looking for some space. Not, I mean, you know, he's playing good mind game. Where's Carter going? I don't know. I mean, he's, you know, sometimes with these high oh. flyers and, and these people that like to rush, they need to create distance so they can get a full head of steam right. to do the offense. Sam, 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 Sam Thickelow just not, just cutting, you cutting know, that uh, distance down. Chris might be But I don't know if he can catch him. He, he might be luring he's him running. in. running. Maybe a little bit of a, a rope-a-dope here, too. Wear him out, test his cardio. I'm not sure if Sam Stackhouse has the same cardio that Chris Carter does. I mean, this this is a strategy. I'm not sure if it's going right, to work. Right, right, right. I like this. I like that Chris Carter is now playing tag oh. with the uh, – <laughs> oh, oh, whoa. Oh, oh, here comes – Oh, <laughs> kick to the jaw. <laughs> whoa. Oh, what's right the, to the back in the spine. What's the old saying? Uh, Everybody has good ideas to get kicked in the jaw. Suicide oh, dive. took the big man off his feet, Chris Carter. Right into the making front row. Making some change, leader of the change. That's right. That, Sam Stackhouse. That's that, now down and out on the outside. That's that wrestling IQ right there. See? You know, People you might didn't not believe. You might not think about that when you look at Chris Carter. You they know? didn't believe. And did you see that? He also broke up the uh, the, the ten count. Chris Carter, he's you going. know, he's, he's smart. He's going to the back. Where, the back? Where, where the hell is he going? Carter's come. Where's he going? I you know, I can't even see him from our vantage point. Did we're he up just here. Leave? In the catbird seat, we can't really see where he went. Where's he going? Wait, hey, he's he, up here with us. We're hey, in the park. He, he came right behind us. Chris, what the hell are you doing, man? The, the match is down there. All right, yeah, camera guy, go over there. Go find him. He, he's going to the other side. I mean, 
his opponents out there, not over here. What's going on? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. There's no way. He's right where I There's did that. There's no way. That's right where I did that interview with him earlier. He was looking Carter's down. Carter's up in the perch stack house. Oh, my God. He was thinking about it. He's but... looking for him. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my stack God. house. Carter came off the perch. Carter came off the perch on the stack house. Everybody's down. It is insane. Steven Stellar, Sam Stackhouse, and... Chris Carter all down. Oh my God! Somebody get some help out here. I told you it was. I mean, Carter. I told you it was insane. Stackhouse is down. This is you, BW Gold Rush. It started off hot. Oh. Shout out to my man Anthony Macaluso who just missed the greatest thing that's ever happened. Yo, in UPW history. I'm glad you're not you here. Know, you're such a sucker. We should I, fire you. No, I'm glad he's not mm -hmm. here because if he was here, that would have been me mm -hmm. eating that is <laughs> stellar. That's true. That, no, you're here. You would have been we'd have run a three man. We'd have yeah. run a three man. Well, thank you, Steven Stellar, <laughs> for eating that. <laughs> oh my god. lord, what is going down here in Santa Fe, Texas? Oh god, now he just kicked the chair right mm. into Sam Stackhouse. It is what? getting real. Chevy, Stackhouse is oh, up. Oh, Stackhouse into the pole. I mean, Carter is literally using everything he has to take dazed. the big man down. He's dazed and he's down in the middle of the ring. I, I didn't think we were gonna see this happen, but it took extreme measures. Extreme measures from Chris Carter. Nobody saw that happening. I had no idea that was going to happen. That was amazing. Carter, look the look on his face right now. He, oh, my God. Stackhouse took his freaking head off. You've got to be Spin kidding me. Spin kick from Stackhouse. Again, April Morales, this is match number one. Match number <laughs> match one. Match number one. I can't See, believe. y'all think I'm full of whatever when I say this is match of the night, but, I mean, these boys has brought this crowd to their feet. I don't know where you go from here. I, I can't believe. I don't believe, know where you go from I here. I can't believe Stackhouse had it in him on a regular day to do that, much less after eating that dive off of the, off of the, what is this, is the second story here? In the, second in the, story. In, in the uh, volunteer fire department here in Santa Fe, Texas. My goodness. It, this is, is basically. Going this Stackhouse back to his feet. Carter, I still think, is looking for his brain, who probably got launched out of his skull. Oh, no. And all that could have been for naught if Sam Stackhouse connects here. Oh, my God. All that sacrifice. All oh, that no. Oh, bravery. Oh, no. my God. Now Carter reverses that to the skull of Stackhouse. Carter. How are any of these men standing? And again off of the ropes. Oh. To the head. But Here Stackhouse is not going down Another. again. Oh. oh! Stackhouse down to one knee. Here comes Carter. This is what independent wrestling's about. Oh. This is that. Oh. oh! A little bit of misdirection there. That was on purpose, I believe, so you get the, the reverse shiny wizard off of the ropes. Oh! Cutter. He got the cutter on Sam Stackhouse. He's got him pinned one. Oh. Just the one count. That's it. That's the power of Stackhouse. That was just a one count, Chevy. Carter is throwing everything he has at him. I don't even know. Mr. I don't even Chevy know Chavarria, that I'm was a on one my count. Feet. That was a one How count. How was that a one count? Stackhouse. All right, he's going for it again. Double cutter. cutter. Oh, cutter. Slingshot cutter off of the. Uh, oh, oh, no. He didn't catch on no, that. He did Carter it. did not make it. That does not make Carter. Carter's happy. running off of a He is Chevy. angry. He, he has to make this one count. Oh, my oh, God. One of the highest frog splashes I've seen. One, he almost hit two. the pipes here at the Santa Fe Fire Department. Two count. Two count. How is Bigelow still going? Bigelow, see, he already got me. How is Stackhouse still going? Stackelow. Oh, Sam Sam. Uh, I forgot what I even called. Bigelow. Sickelow. It's insane. I can't even think right now. I don't no. even know what's going on. <laughs> this is match number one, Chevy. Match number one. I'm already losing my voice. <laughs> what is happening right now? My goodness. All right. Chris Carter trying to get the crowd back into this, trying to get some life back into himself, get that adrenaline pumping again, see if he could pull off some sort of amazing offense to get this victory here off the ropes. No! <laughs> no, Counter. sir. Oh, my God! Stackhouse dumped Chris Carter on his head. Here's the cover. One, two, and three. Oh. It is over! Sam Stackhouse remaining loco champion because he is nothing but fire daddy. Shout out, Javi Martinez. <laughs> If it Sam Stackhouse, go ahead. If it ain't fire, it ain't loco, daddy. Come on, shout out. Thank you so much to Local Wrestling for lending us two of your biggest warriors. They tore it up here in Undisputed Pro Wrestling tonight. Mad shout out to each one of you. My goodness, what an opening contest. What I don't a even match. Know. I don't even know where you go from here. I don't I know. I don't know where you go from here. I don't know. But, well, I mean, we, we have to. The, 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 the night will go on, the matches will go on, the show must go on. But we are going to have more action here coming up in just a bit. 
Stay tuned here on Clear Life Media. We may even have a few interviews with your boy, me. Hey, Bro, don't be taking my tagline. A little bit line. later tonight. Don't be stealing my gimmick. I'm don't stealing your gimmick. No, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you're just rubbing off on me, that's I all. Hear you, I hear you. Look at, look at Sackhouse in the center of the ring, holding Carter's belt. Look at the respect. This is independent wrestling. Oh, baby. that's the hug of respect Both right there. Th th that's all you can give right now. Both those men went out. I, I can't even talk right. I just said men's. I pluralized the plural word. Yep. That got me all in an uproar. The I don't even know where to go from here. I don't even know where to go from here, Abel Morales. <laughs> there you go. Look at look at all that championship gold in this the middle of that ring. This is start off gold rush, baby. Yes. Wow. Amazing, amazing. All right. We're going to have some more action coming up here soon. I'm Anna Dellinger and this is Heather Laurie and my little sister Michelle West and we're at Legacy Collision. We are an all-service automotive collision center here to service anybody who has a little fender bender all the way up to a major accident. We work with all major insurance companies, all female run. You can reach us at 409-440-8900 on our website, LegacyCollisionTX.com or on social media, Facebook and Instagram. We are continuing a legacy, creating a legacy and leaving a legacy here at Legacy Collision. All right, Chevy, you ready for some more action here at UBW uh -oh. Gold Rush? Wait a second, what's going on here? Who's that? Do you recognize him, Chevy? I do not. He is the Russian assassin. I guess they don't have uh, music in Russia. I think he just jumped the gun. Maybe that's what it is. Well, may not want to say gun around him. <laughs> he might not need music. Uh, we have the yeah. crowd chanting for him. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's quite I, the chorus. Uh, man, I hate to be uh, <laughs> what they call a hater. But Russia's not the most popular uh, place to be from at, at the moment. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's the understatement, I'd say. All right, well, why is he harassing Ladies Steven Stellar? I have been asked for all of you to please rise Aww. for the play of the Russian National Anthem. Aw, oh, come on, really? We're not really going to play the Russian National Anthem here tonight, are we? I don't know, I feel bad, our, our sound man. Stephen Riley for the evening. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get things thrown at him. Well, well, there it is, the Russian National Anthem. I mean, okay. <laughs> Look, the crowd, members of the crowd are now turning their chairs to the Russian National Anthem. Everybody here should take a knee. Chevy, I didn't realize that the lyrics to the Russian National Anthem were USA, they are. USA. They are, because they yeah. know what's up. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that, that's a little back, you know, everybody, backwards. I'd everybody say. take a knee. Everybody take a knee. <laughs> well, I mean, it, Russian assassin there, he's taking a little bit of umption to that. This is, this is what the guy goes with, Russian assassin. Russian assassin. Name? All right. I, I don't know if in, this, in the, today's climate if, uh, yeah. well, you know. I mean, is Hambo really taking the knee? Hambo's, ta Hambo's taking the knee in the ring. Hambo's taking because you know why? Hambo is a national treasure. National treasure. You know, I know we playing that Russian stuff around Hambo. <laughs> there we go. All right, enough of that. That was some shenanigans right there. Oh, 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 oh! I think I might recognize that music, oh, Chevy. Oh, it's going down. Yes, I sir. Feel a little. I don't know. You know, Weird. I don't really like hockey. Never really have. Wasn't a fan. I got. But you know what? I was about to say, I think I feel a little uh, down with the stickness, if you know yes, what I mean. Yes, sir. I think the, this Russian assassin might stick around. Thank you so much, Steven Stuller, for that introduction. Looks like we're going to have a, a mask off here tonight. Yeah. You got uh, the Russian assassin versus the player. You know, sticks and stones. Russia versus Calgary. I think that happened in 92, right? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. In hockey, I think that was. I wonder, and then I don't I don't know this to be a fact. No? But do you think that the player trained in the dungeon? I mean, he trained in a dungeon. <laughs> he is from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. 
Dorothy Player's baby boy is making his way to the ring. I mean, he's definitely got the colors for it. That pink and black. That pink and black strikes fear in the hearts of men from the great white north. You know, this they crowd's say, in. This crowd's in. They, they say that if Russia were to want to invade the good old US of A, they would have to go through Canada first. So that might be a bit of a sneak preview of what we're seeing here tonight. Canada are, are, versus They're Russia. just allowing the flag in the sticks. We're just in. We're I in get, on the weapons. Hand bone. So. Yeah? Oh, no. Hand bone. Oh, okay. oh, oh, no, no, oh, no. Oh, come on. Come on. Hand bone, get in there. Hand hey. bone taking hey. the flag of Russia. He listened to me. He got in there. Throwing it to the ground. There you Hambone, go. Hand bone, you're a national treasure. You're a national treasure. I've said it once. I'll say it again a thousand times. That great American hand bone. Here we the go. Bell. He was looking for Hambone to know where the bell was. He found it. Ma <laughs> bell match is underway. All right. Let's Big see. right hand from the Russian assassin to the bread basket. Is that, they call it a bread basket in Canada. Hey. Oh. I think they call that a poutine little baby basket. Stunner. That was a little baby stunner. Baby stunner. A little stun gun. Using Just like a Russian using the rope to choke him. <laughs> you know, in Mother Russia, a rope <laughs> choke you. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Irish whip off the ropes. Oh. Oh. Shoulder tackle was ineffective. Right. I still have questions about uh, oh. the player's attire and the legality of a homie, uh, hockey helmet yeah. in the ring. Oh. I mean, it is for protection. Did he just hit him with a Russian leg sweep? He did. Ironic. Oh, that one, two, it. three. That was it. Taste of your own medicine, what Russian assassin. Russian leg sweep? Russian leg sweep. That was a good number two. Yeah. Quick, easy. Keeping the crowd on fire. All right. But all I know is that not one person has gotten down with the stickness. Whoa. Oh, not yet. Wiping parts of his uh, pads. <laughs> the uh, the player. With that, uh, that the old jock strap flag. Yeah, now, see, we keep saying that's the Russian flag. That's actually the the Soviet Union's flag. Okay. A little, little outdated there. A little education. No, yeah. nobody. Yeah. That's it, player. No down with the stickness. No. Hey, man, sticks are expensive nowadays. That is true. That's the good stick. It's a supply chain. That's stuff. a goalie stick. Yeah. You got. It's you know it's sanctions and whatever it makes uh, the the stick market go sky high. Looks like a. Uh, but he's trying to I like, I, wave he, that flag in the middle of the ring there is a Russian assassin, but it's not the old, the old Russian assassin still trying to gain props for Mother Russia. Yeah, yes. For a good old USSR. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, let's get him on out of here. I'm tired of seeing this guy. <laughs> Well, we are going to have some more matches here. UPW Go Rush, our third anniversary show. I mean, if uh, this music that you're talking about, it means anything at all, it means freedom of expression. And without which, I mean, there's nothing. Is there any reason why it should not have freedom of expression? If it is any kind of an art, is it still an art if it does not enjoy freedom of expression? following this story. Oh, man. DeMarco has made his return to independent wrestling here in Texas. I, I got one of the fan favorites last show. I couldn't believe it when I saw him in Bay Cliff, Texas in a UPW ring. Steve DeMarco is a legend here in Texas, independent professional wrestling. He was over there working at the Hall of Famers school. You know who I'm talking about. And he, he made, he cut his teeth there. He wrestled in other promotions all over Houston, all over Texas. 
He made a YouTube show on myself. What do you say? Where are you going, Chevy? Chevy, where are you going? We, we, we I got some business. Hey, well, he was going to leave me here? All right, well, fine. Well, it's just me and you, folks. So anyway, as I was saying, Steve DeMarco, brilliant YouTube show, The Lucha Lounge, where he just talks about wrestling, independent wrestling, his journey in wrestling. In fact, he and I crossed paths early in my uh, uh, career in podcasting with Houston Wrestling Radio. This man is a legend, a legend here in Texas, and I can't wait to see what he has to say. And his actions, explain his actions where he attacked Jesse Logan in Baycliff last month here at UPW. This man knows his way around a microphone, he knows his way around an interview, and he knows his way around that ring. He is indeed a Texas legend. crowd's not really going to let Steve DeMarco speak. I've been waiting for this all month. want to see Steve DeMarco explain his actions coming back to UPW. sure Steve DeMarco knows how to make it short and sweet. Oh, come on. We don't need to antagonize the fans, Steve.
owner and operator of UPW. I have a ton of respect for that man. So when people ask why I retired very simple, I got an invitation from a very respectful, professional promoter, and I said, why not? Marco, ladies and gentlemen, the influence, the influence, sir. I have a lot of mixed emotions about what I just saw and heard out of Steve DeMarco. It is true. He has influenced a lot of people in this business, in this territory, in this area, myself included. And while he promises great things to UPW, and I have nothing but respect for him, I, had, I hate but to wonder, maybe there's a little bit of hubris there. But we'll be back with more action here, UPW Gold Rush. Hello, I'm Anna Dellinger and this is Heather Laurie and my little sister, Michelle West. And we're at Legacy Collision. We are an all-service automotive collision center. Here to service anybody who has a little fender bender all the way up to a major accident. We work with all major insurance companies, all female run. You can reach us at 409-440-8900 on our website, LegacyCollisionTX.com or on social media, Facebook and Instagram. We are continuing a legacy, creating a legacy and leaving a legacy here at Legacy Collision. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here at UPW Gold Rush 3. And uh, my man Chevy is still not back here with me. I'm not sure what's going on, but oh joy. There's Johnny Blade. All 
right, looks like we got a new member of Blade Enterprises. I, I believe Steven Siller just said Pharaoh. I, I haven't seen this fella before. He, he looks pretty big. He looks pretty athletic as well. Not a, not a lot of uh, people look at about his size here that we get to see in this area. But of course, here's something we see all the time, which is Johnny Blade flapping his gums. Come on, Johnny. Talk of Santa Fe on Facebook. Go read that, and you'll know how much trash it is. So what I'm saying is, if you get anybody from this town, or from Hitchcock, Lamar, Texas City, wherever in this stupid county of Galveston County, bring him out, somebody who's on our roster, because after you meet this guy, you're a full-time member of Blade Enterprises, baby. Oh, okay, so he's not a member yet of Blade Enterprises. Looks like uh, Johnny Blade's having a bit of a tryout. <laughs> I didn't know he could sound like Cartman. That's interesting. But uh, Johnny Blade throwing down the gauntlet. Uh, let's see who's going to answer the call to, to, for a bit of a tryout match. Wait. Wait a second. That's Chevy. What is Chevy doing over there? Chevy, you're supposed to be over here. Chevy is gonna, Chevy Chavarria is gonna answer this match? No way, dude. Chevy's not even in gear. Come on, Chevy, dude. I can't do the rest of the show by myself up here. Hey, Chevy, why are you messing up the front row? What is going on? <laughs> oh my, come on. Chevy, I got nothing but love and respect for you, buddy, but uh, I don't know if I wanna see you going up against this big dude called Pharaoh. I know you're undefeated in UPW, brother, but uh, I don't think this is the match to, to, to tempt that and put that undefeated streak on the line, brother. What are you doing? What are you thinking? Oh, boy. This is uh, this is going to be a bloodbath if Chevy thinks he's going uh, to... Chevy can't even get up on the rope. He can't even get up on the rope. Oh, my God. Uh. Folks, I apologize for Chevy. On behalf of Chevy Chavarria. Uh, but I mean, hey, it looks like Pharaoh will uh, get a chance to join Blade Enterprises. All he has to do is beat up Chevy, I guess. Well, now Johnny looks like he wants to get in on the action. All right, well, they, it, Chevy has a microphone. Of course he does. Let's see what he has to say. Chevy's trying to challenge Johnny, not Pharaoh. Okay. But I'm retired. Oh, so yes, I'm yes. Chevy's retired, of course. I hear Johnny run <laughs> his mouth. He cut off a promo on the internet about Santa Fe, Texas. But these are my people. These are some of the toughest, amazing heroes I've ever seen. Let's give it up. That's right. Thank you to the fire department for letting them use or letting us use their facility here. The Santa Fe, Texas volunteer fire department. 
I don't know who this cat is, but I don't either. Chevy opened up the Rolodex. Oh, oh boy. Mr. 409. Chevy going back to his connections, back to his podcast, a chop to the chest radio. Chevy and Nate Laws are very good friends. I should have seen that coming. I, I knew Chevy wasn't going to challenge this. This big dude from Egypt known as Pharaoh. But oh man, now Pharaoh, oh, this isn't gonna be as easy of a night as he thought it was gonna be. Nate Laws is no slouch. Nate Laws representing here, the 409, southeastern part of Texas, south of Houston, close to Galveston, Santa Fe, Texas, right here, home bred. Boy, Mr. Pharaoh, straight from Egypt, you have got your hands full tonight. I'm not sure if you're going to want to join Blade Enterprises after this. Jesus Christ. Oh, hey, hey, hey. I'm back. Chevy, Blade, you're back. I'm back. You ran up them stairs. You're all huffing and puffing. Look at you, man. I'm so out of shape. <laughs> That's why I don't wrestle. Well, that, that's why I'm glad it's not you wrestling. I thought it was going to be you for a second. I was like, damn, Chevy. I was like, you couldn't even get up on that second rope there that I first know. time. <laughs> My pants were a little tight. <laughs> Blame it on the pants. Local business owner, Chevy Chavarria, owner-operator of Riot Barber Studio. Go ahead, reaching into the Rolodex and calling out. You know? Nate Laws, look at that power by Nate Laws. Oh, man. Boo! Nate Laws already feeling that crowd, baby. One of your very, very good friends, right, Chevy? He's my brother. He's your brother like from twins. another mother. We look exactly alike. People I can't mean, tell us apart sometimes. You know, I can see that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Test of strength. I'm not sure if this is wise, Pharaoh. This is not wise, Pharaoh. You do not want to go with the test of strength against somebody like Nate Laws. But, oh, oh, oh. Nate Laws is going to entertain it. No, he's not. So, Johnny Blade found somebody from Egypt. Egypt, Chevy. Egypt. Yeah. Egypt. Right. I mean, no Texas. Right. No Louisiana, no Florida. No. Egypt. Not even U.S., baby. Yeah, not even U.S. I mean, ooh. That was a nice little chop. Oh, another one. Chop to the chest. For there the man from Chop to the Chest Radio. Oh, Lordy. I don't like that. <laughs> ooh. Does that remind you of good times there, Chevy? Chevy's still out of breath. I'm still out of breath. I miss seeing my boy in the ring. It's been a few years since he's moved out to Florida to handle some family business and work. Made his way back to the 409. Yes, sir. To represent for its people. All right, Nate Laws measuring him up. Oh! Oh, gunshots rang out like a bell. My Those were vanilla ice lyrics. Yes, yes. You know, Johnny Blade's not looking very happy there. He's not very happy at all. I think he was going to have a bit of a cakewalk when he saw you come out. Right. You trying to say I can't take Johnny? No, I'm saying that you're uh, retired. <laughs> That's right. True. Yeah, you haven't been traded. I haven't been. Those steps took me out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Chris Carter flew up these steps. I know. <laughs> all right, here we go. Another chop to the chest. Is that why y'all called it chop to the chest radio? That's why we called it. Okay. And a little. Oh, wait. Well, no, no. He's backing up, measuring him up. A little love up. for 
Oh, nobody at home. Big Nate, rookie mistake. You've been in the game too long, baby. Maybe he should have went for the chop instead of the splash. Little ring rust on my man. I guess so. A little bit, a little bit. That uh, plane ride. Oh, did he come by plane or, or by, by plane? By plane from Florida. That's a long plane ride, man. I like. Tripped up on the banners, but then fixed them. That's yes. how good of a guy Nate Laws is. Yes. Wants to make sure that our sponsors get what they paid for. Shout out to uh, ET Lockouts. The <laughs> Pharaoh. Ooh. Drawing Nate in. I got to give it to him. Yep. I don't mean to go against my boy here, but the Pharaoh, that's a good move right there. I mean, you got to call it like you see it there. That's your job up here. Right. I'll play favorites. I don't care. <laughs> well, we all know you do, Chevy. Oh, look at those clubbing blows right to the chest. Trying to cave in the chest of Nate Laws. All right, now he's just kind of leaning on him. Got that little headlock cinched in. Referee's right there to see, make sure it's not a choke. Ref called it as, as though it's legal. He still got it applied. Oh, then with more of those clubbing blows. Got him in a prone position, trying to go for the three count. No, only got one. The oh. Pharaoh really working on the rib cage of Nate Laws. Yes. Again, the ribcage protects the lungs. If the man can't breathe, he can't move. That's right. You learned that right now coming up the stairs. I am. <laughs> Look at that. Back to the ribcage. Farrell playing a smart game. Mm -hmm. 409, I've seen him pull out. Go in the depths of his arsenal. Pull out some big moves to end it. Oh, oh, uh oh. oh. Nate Laws tried to get that leg up, but uh, Farrell caught it. Oh, oh, big right hand. Your Nate boy, Laws. Your boy's in trouble, Chevy. I believe in my boy. Come on. Two count. Two count. Look at the power. Just rolled him off. Yep. Just rolled him off. That's one thing that Farrell can't hang with Nate Laws. His strength. Power. Strength. You're right. All right. Back Pushing into the, the big man back in the corner. I'm impressed with this Farrell. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, he's wrestling. Does he want match. a Johnny Blade contract, a Blade Enterprise contract, more than Nate wants to rep the 409? There's those 409 chants, though. Fuels the big man, oh, the no. main event. Oh, no. No, you ain't picking that big man up. Oh, duck under. Spear. Oh, oh my God. Back from the football days of the Mark High School Championship team. What a collision. Three spears him, rips him in half. That's it. Repping. Mr. Four. Oh, nine. I, I guess that means Pharaoh is not in Blade Enterprises. Look at Johnny Blade scurrying away in disgust. Oh, Lordy. Johnny Blade not happy. I guess it's safe to say he is not going to be entering Blade Enterprises. But Mr. 409, Nate Laws is back. Oh, oh, nine, baby. I love it when we get to see Nate Laws, man. You're a homeboy. Back in the day, Chop the Chest Radio. You got to love it, man. You got to love seeing him. Yeah, Pharaoh, he's like, ah, I don't want any more of this. <laughs> Look Pharaoh, at it. Imagine driving, coming all the way from Egypt, flying all the way from Egypt, and this is how it ends for you. Yeah, to lose to a spear, but to Nate Laws. If you're taking the spear from Nate Laws. Oh, man. Again, championship football team, Lamarck. Not ripping a, fools in half since back then. Not a good night for that Egyptian, but it's okay. It's still going to be a good night for all of you watching here at home on Clear Life Media. We're going to have some more matchups here coming up soon from UPW Gold Rush 3 in Santa Fe, Texas. If you breathe air and you eat food and drink water and you live on this earth and walk among us, you cut and you bleed, you're fair game. I'm piercing your soul. I'm not here to play with nobody. What I'm going to do to him, the moves I'm going to make. Yay, 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 yay. To see what I do and then think in your mind that you work harder than me. Because when you're asleep, I'm working. When you're working, I'm working. And when you're eating, I'm still working. Whatever you're doing, I'm still going harder than you. I don't care. I'm on demon time. This Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, stream worldwide, exclusively on Fight TV. Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is scheduled for one fall. All right, we are back, Chevy. We are going to have oh, one of your favorites oh, there, Chevy. Oh, Lordy, it is going One of your favorites. Down. We are going to have a matchup. I mean, you just saw the interview with myself and all-star Matt Locke. He's going to be taking on Just Nick. 
We got Hambo, the national treasure, in the ring. Oh, it's going to be good all around. Love the yep. ref. And there he is. There he is. All-star. You got to give him props. But do you notice who's not with all-star Matlock? Johnny Blade. Matlock has left Blade Enterprises. It seems like he yelled at me. And now he's yelling at kids in the front row. This man's got a temper issue. But he has left. Blade Enterprises, and like I said, it seems to be a mutual decision. He has stolen the cell. He has stolen the cell phone of a fan in the front row. Wow! I tell you, he makes friends everywhere he goes. Uh, he said, "I don't care who you are. You can get some too." Little girl in the front row. Man, I'm not sure about More that. More cell phones in the ring. I'm Matt's not. taking children's cell phones, throwing them in the ring. Hits a kid with an empty Gatorade bottle. Let's go through the list. Where's our security? Security needs Super to be. Super Mullet Security Squad was in the building. Steven Stellar uh -oh. said from anywhere but uh -oh. Santa Fe, Texas. What? He is the all-star, Steven Stellar. That's a rookie mistake, Steven Stellar. Oh, come on, Steven. Just say it, Steven. Get it over with. Say all-star. Appease him. Just let it go. Did he say 485? 485, I believe he said. He is the all-star, There you go, Steven. All right. Some people refer to him as the Fred Durst of UPW. Yes, yes. I think it might only be me, but I'm totally okay with that. I mean, yeah. I, I like his attitude. Anybody can get it. Anybody can. All right. Uh, you know, Matt Locke throwing hats around. You know, I, I love I love Matt Locke, uh, his, his in-ring work. I, I love everything that he does in the ring. But... Man, he doesn't need to be bothering with these kids in the front row. Whenever I try to do interviews and stuff with him, he's like yelling at me. He's harassing Steven Stellar. Like, come on, dude. You, you don't need to do all this, man. We respect you. We respect what you do in the ring. Oh, now he's got a microphone. Looks like a chair was thrown at Matt Lock. Come on, we gotta get the mullet security guys over there. Come on, mullet security. Super mullet security. That man threw a chair at Matt Lock. Super Who did? One of the fans. I couldn't see exactly who it was from our vantage point, but yep. Was it a child or a grown I, man? I couldn't tell, I couldn't tell. But you know, we need, we need our super mullet security out there, come on. So the entrance is still going on. I had to take a break to let the cameraman give notes to future matches, come back, and Matt Locke still is not in the ring. Right. Huh. Well, he came in and then went back out. Is this going to be a Mick Foley situation where everyone in the arena picks up their chair and throws it at Matt Locke? And if it, if it does happen, it would be the happiest day of my life. This would be the <laughs> best event <laughs> UPW has ever put I'm on. I'm telling you, I respect everything Matt Locke does in the ring. He is a phenomenal wrestler, great at what he does. But come on, we don't need all these shenanigans. We don't need all this, you know, jaw jacking with the fans and throwing now, water bottles and stuff. I will say, this opponent coming out, one of my favorite up and comers here in uh, UPW, Undisputed Pro Wrestling. Best headbutt in the game. There's yeah. something about this man headbutt that brings pure joy to my soul. Well, what's his name? It's coming. Y'all ain't ready. You ain't ready? Y'all ain't ready. You ain't ready. Oh, 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 there he is! There he is! The man known as Nick! Just Nick! He needs no other name! He's like Cher! Yeah. It's Nick! Just Nick! Just Nick! You only need one name. That's all you need! <laughs> My man, Just Nick! Come on! Give me that little dance you do! Give me that little dance you do, Just Nick! Now, see, he's the polar opposite of Matt Locke. Everybody loves him. He comes out, he's slapping high fives with fans. Look at hits. that. Energy. More energy than I had. I couldn't even make it to the second turn, buddy. <laughs> I don't know, man. You got a lot of energy. 
Oh, um, no. Oh, hold on. Matt's coming up behind him. Oh, ignoring. Oh, ignoring okay. the Fred Durst of UPW. I like that. Rat Lock and other promotions, I they mean, call him. You better watch out. He might bust out a chain. Woo! Ball. Just Nick firing up this crowd. I'll tell you, both of these uh, grapplers really evoke emotional responses from the faithful here at Santa Fe. Again, here at Santa Fe, Texas, the fire department. Love that the firemen have uh, allowed us to use their facility here. It's a beautiful facility. All right, Just Nick. Oh, now see, what's he doing out there? Now see, he's getting taking taking selfies with folks. <laughs> I I just can't help be, but be happy when Justin Nick comes oh, out. Oh, my heart's full of joy right now. Yes, because I know what's coming. Yeah, Matt Locke's getting those headbutts, baby. Yep. <coughs> All right, we got both competitors in the ring. Let's see if uh, Hambone can start this matchup successfully and swiftly without any. Any tomfoolery before the match. We've already had enough of that. Hambone asking both competitors if they're ready, and here's the bell. There we go. This match is underway here at UPW Gold Rush 3. Both men just kind of sizing each other up. Haven't locked up yet. Just Nick getting this crowd behind him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much it love he's going to give with that Lakers shirt he has on. <laughs> oh, you just ignore that. Oh, but there comes Matt. I think he just likes the booze. Yeah, yeah. That he likes soul. it. Yeah. The man is driven by hate. I do he like is. that about him. You like that? I like that about him. <laughs> Anything we're doing is worth doing right, Abel Morales. I guess so. Oh, man. The swan song. Of that, just Nick. That was a loud reaction there for just Nick. I think that was a louder uh, <coughs> uh, cheering reaction than uh, Matt got as a booing reaction. All right, in the corner. Got the four. Uh, if he reached five, that would have been a disqualification. But that Matt knows. Again, he's a great wrestler. Matt knows when to break that. All right, both men circling around. Collar and elbow tie up. Oh, with the go around behind is uh, Matt. Just Nick broke it. Now he went behind. Oh, trying to get that headlock is Matt. The Matlock headlock. The Matlock headlock. Into the corner. We need to break that up. Come on, Hambone. Ministering the count. Broken on three. I was about to say a clean break, but a little bit of taunting. Oh, Matlock did not like that. I like my well, favorite thing about that was he punched him and then rubbed his head. Yes. Oh, big drop kick from Just Nick staying alive, shaking them haters off, baby. Yes, sir. I like Just Nick's attitude. It's bringing joy to the people here at Gold Rush, UPW in so, Santa Fe, Texas. So you like Nick's attitude, but you also like Matt's mm -hmm. attitude. Anything we're doing is worth doing right. Just be yourself, you know what I mean? All right. Go big or go home. Those are my philosophies. Oh. I live by them. Oh. Oh, did you see that clothesline, I Chevy? Did. I think he took his head off because he's wearing a Lakers shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe it's the Santa Fe Lakers. What, no, what do they no, do here? We're the Indians. Oh, we're the, the Indians. Indians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're probably not changing it. <laughs> Get over it, people. Okay. The Commanders. Oh. Santa Fe Commanders doesn't have quite a ring to it. <laughs> Santa Fe football or baseball team or basketball. All right. Nick's going to the outside. No. 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 Matt play action. Matt was playing the mind games. Oh, low drop kick, taking out the knees of just Nick. That it's hard hurts. to move if you can't walk. Oh, nobody home. Just <laughs> getting stuck. Uh oh. Is this the setup? Is yep. this the setup? Here it comes, baby. Oh. This is what I live for. Here this comes. is the only reason I come to UPW shows. Here comes the chrome dome drop. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. How is Matt Locke going to even stand or breathe or <laughs> live after that? Best headbutt in the business. Oh, the crowd's going for another one. This is making oh, my night. Oh, here we go. Another chrome dome drop. Two oh! double headbutts. Matlock, this may be career ending for Matlock. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go, Justin. Headbutts all oh. night long, baby. 
All the right. Snick says one more. Could He's this doing be it three? Again. Could this be three? And a third. Oh. It's the three amigos, but with Those. headbutts. Those. I don't know. He only got a two count. How in the world did Matt Locke kick out of three headbutts? All right, so three equals two. All right, let's remember That's that. That's unheard of. Yeah. That's a it's, like, it's like when Triple H tore his quads. How is he finishing this match? <laughs> who? I don't know who you're talking about. He was a guy. Oh, he's a guy. A wrestler. Retired. Oh, oh moonsault off of the second rope. That was amazing. Here comes this the cover. Brad is in love with and, just Nick. Oh, that's a kick I'm out. I'm a little jealous. I thought I was the only just Nick fan around here. Oh, but no. no. No, he's, he's ingratiating himself to all of us here at UPW. Here comes a head of steam into the corner. Oh, rising uppercut there. Oh, and a clothesline. I love my man, just Nick. You cannot be too cocky with old Matt Lock up turning on you just like that. That's true. Oh, uh -oh Matt Lock caught I thought it. it was a boot. Oh, again. Back to the knee, the same knee. He's a great mind for wrestling. He does. Young in the game. Yes. Fights like a veteran. He's got a high wrestling IQ, man. <laughs> Young in the game, fights like a veteran, has the soul of an old man who's bitter. Maybe been more, maybe been in some wars. Yeah. Maybe people have been racist to him, you know? He's just kind of angry at the world. I mean, he is. He's angry. I don't know, that anger, that, that can't be good for your, your cardiovascular system, I'd say. High blood pressure. Yep, yep. He's got to watch out, man. He's got to, oh, he's got to find his peace. And that right there, that, that won't be peaceful at all. Oh. They don't call him Rat Lock for nothing. No, look, look at that. Just Nick, he may, have, he may have hurt himself there. Well, it wasn't him hurting himself. It's Matt Lock hurt him. Oh, now he's got him tied up in the ropes. Oh, come on, Matt. That, that is just some viciousness, some malice in the heart of Matt Locke. I told you, it's Fred Durst of UPW. <laughs> Give him something to break, you know what I mean? All right now he's trying to break that knee. That's it. I like that he needs no cheers. He revels in the, in the booze. He says your booze mean nothing because I've seen what made you cheer. That's what he I guess says so. in his soul. I guess so. He needs no approval of man. He's the all-star, Matt Locke, and this is the all-star era. Okay. I sound like a fan. Oh, I guess you I do. might be. I think you are. I mean, you just appreciate people yeah. being real, right? You got to keep it real, keep it heal sometimes. You know I what I'm saying? So. Around. Oh, forearm. Just Nick is fighting back. Fighting back on the outside. Oh, no, back to the knee. Back to the knee. Short limp. Short limp fight back. Oh. oh, no, now he's got that, that chair from that kid. He just straight up stole the chair from the kid. Love it. Where's the kid going to sit? Is he going to do something with it? Oh, I'd have been more no. happy if he just like left it there. Hambone. I think he might. He might have just took the chair to take it. Hambone, you got to get control of this, man. Oh, oh, no. It looked like it was reversed. A little reverse. Matt Locke, Matt is Locke up. sits in the chair. Yep. He said, take a seat. Just Nick with a full head of steam. Nobody home. Oh, his leg is uh -oh. caught up in the oh. chair. Oh, no. Guys, somebody's got to check his leg, as, man. As we saw the return of Nate Laws tonight, to be honest with you, two years ago, that's exactly how Nate Laws left this ring. Yeah. The competitor with the smashed knee. a chair just like that over his knee. Yeah. And he was out for two years. A lot of people suffer knee injuries, and it takes a long time to work their way back into the ring. I, I hope Just Nick is okay. I, at this point, hey, it might just be good to kind of cut your losses and see if you can just end the, end the match as quick as you can. Even if it ends with an L or a W, just get out of here, just get out of here, Nick. Live to fight another day, brother. I'm not sure if it's hard to let him do that, though. It might be the smart thing to do, but he's got too much heart. There it is. Look at that. That forearm again, right to the jaw. Another forearm. Just Nick is fighting back. Oh, back to the knee again. Again, Matlock with the knee. Jeez. I, man, I don't know if I can stomach this anymore. Two. Oh. Come on, man. It's the heart of just Nick, baby. He ain't, I know. he ain't giving up. I know, man. It's it's hard for me to watch, man. I think him and Stevie Hendricks were the kid and play of UPW. You know what? I can feel that. They definitely get along backstage, oh, look man. At oh, look. See, just Nick's trying to kick him in the head. He said, get off my knee. <coughs> oh, back to the knee again, man. He is. Matt Locke has just been relentless on that knee. Relentless. Hey, you, you go to what works. Yeah. Matt, just Nick is known for high flying, fast abilities. Without knees, you can't do any of that, brother. You're right. You're right. Ooh. 
What about these, these men know each other? This isn't this isn't the first time they've been in the ring together. Oh, those other promotions. There comes those forearms again. He just needs to follow it up. Oh, just Nick again can't follow up the forearms. Oh. Countered, slammed right in the middle of the mat. And here comes the All Star, twisting him like a pretzel. He's got like a bit of a I don't even know what you call that. Like an inverted figure four type thing. I don't know. But that's a really good move. That's a really good hold. Uh, you know, Nick is kind of close to the ropes, but he's reaching out with the wrong hand. He should be reaching out with his left, not his right, but he still got to the ropes. He got to the rope. Break that hand bone. Look at that Break national up. treasure stepping in there. Hand bones the law Physically in there. Physically breaking it if you ain't going to break it. Former wrestler uh -oh. throughout the Texas Territory. Look at this. Matt's getting in hand bone's face. You don't want to do that, Matt. Hand bone's a veteran of the ring wars for many, many years. He still, he still got some fight in him, Matt. Don't do that. Oh, just Nick looking like, whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa, setting him up. Just Nick took advantage. Oh, oh clothesline. I'm going to call that a Larry. That had some power behind it. Another one. Yes, sir. The only thing that can make this better because you finish it with the headbutt. Oh. But I'll take the spinning Larry. He'll take that, yes. At this point, he just needs to get in offense and try to end this as quick as he can. That knee cannot take any more damage or any more punishment. Here he comes with another, another clothesline there in the corner. That one was more of a clothesline, not a lariat. I got you. <laughs> but now he's going with the big right hands. Raining him down in the corner. Right, you got to be careful. That man has a hard head. Head of stone, that Matt Lock. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at Matt. He's countering it. Uh-oh. Possibly into a running power bomb. No, 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 no. Into the Rana. Hit him with the Rana, just Nick. Counter Matt for Lock counter. on the outside. The high flyer, just Nick, seen an opportunity. What is about to go down? You know, and Matt's kind of in hostile territory out there in the front row. Here comes Nick. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. He did not have as much he mustard on that, as, he's that. No, as he normally would. You know why? The knee. The knee. The knee. The knee. <laughs> Say it again. The knee. The knee. <laughs> I tell you, if his knee was at 100%, he would have really sprung up out of the ring. I've seen just Nick clear those ropes. I've seen him do it too, but like they not weren't tonight. Even there. No. He barely cleared it. No. Caught a piece of Matt Locke on the way down. I mean, barely. He really didn't, didn't have as much impact as he normally would. Got caught up in the ropes. I mean, both men are down. Uh, Hambone's up to an eight. Nine. Oh, my God. C can they get in? Whoa, They're both in. whoa. They're both in. This match I will did not continue. want to see this match in a double count out. Two of the most, uh, I say, I would say up and coming, but both have made an impact here in UPW as is over this. Uh-oh. Oh. Now it's on. That Lakers shirt's coming off right in the face of Matt Lott. Oh, man. Just Nick is really showing his heart here. A little bit of fortitude exchanging those forearms from both of these men. I like men. this. This is a, this is this is Matt Locke's game right here. But just Nick is going blow for blow and hanging. Oh, oh. gunshot chop to the chest. Radio. <laughs> that double chop from Nick. Little little. It's little a slug punch fest. To the jaw. This is a slug uh -oh. fest. Oh, oh, back again, the knee. The backside of the knee this time. Oh! oh, oh I stand corrected. That was a lariat. <laughs> that, that was a, a yes. I agree, Chevy. I agree. Uh, Picking the lifeless body of just Nick up. A suplex. To a suplex. I hope this is it. Just for the sake of his knee, I hope this is it. There it is. That's Three it. Three count from the National Treasure Hambone. Oh, man. Matt Locke goes over. Somebody check just Nick to see if he's still alive. I hope that the EMT is here <laughs> at the Santa Fe Fire Department get to check out just Nick's knee in the backstage area because I'm concerned. I'm concerned, Chevy. You're concerned about the knee? Did you see that lariat that might have dislocated his skull from his neck? That might be a concussion. You're right. He might be concussed. He, he's knocked out right in the center of the ring. What is this? What is this? What's I going feel like on? I'm Jack Skeleton right now. Oh, here comes uh, Bart. Bart's coming El to Jefe, the ring. El Jefe, the king, Bart Harris. Owner King operator. of the undisputed owner uh, and operator. He's coming into the ring. You know, Bart Harris has had his matches. Just, just fresh off the match with Jay Davis. Is he turning his sights on the mat? Like, I don't know if this is the best business decision you could possibly make here. You know, I think I think Bart's just as concerned as I am for the well-being of just Nick. I have to think that's all that is. I don't think that had anything to do with Matt. 
I mean, maybe uh, maybe at some point we need to kind of ask Bart what's going on. Maybe maybe we could get an I mean, interview. He was just checking on him. Yeah. Where's our super mold security team? Yeah, where's not, super I mullets? Seen, I, seen a, I see a few mullets flying around here, but <laughs> I ain't seen them help oh, just man. Nick up. You did great. You, you did great, Nick. The fans clapping in honor wow. of just Nick. That was such a hard. The only thing that would make this better is he pushed Hambone and Bart down and then double headbutted both of them. That was a hard to watch matchup, man, I tell you. But that the heart, the heart of just Nick, I it's admirable. It's admirable. All right, well, we're going to have some more matches. Guess what? What? This is Gold Rush. This is so, UPW Gold Rush here in Santa Fe, Texas, Santa Fe Fire Department. That's right. We, we are still hyped. Yeah, we're still hyped. We're still we hyped. Are I've going only to said have. it once, but I want to say it every match. Every single match could be match of the night. That's right. We need to vote after this. I don't even know what to do. We are going to have the DZW Heavyweight Champion, Super Duper on defending against, against, <laughs> well, none other than the live action wrestling champion, Afro Man Stevie Hendricks, who's defending his title. It's a title for title matchup. When we come back here at UPW Gold Rush. Shout out to Clear Life Media, Gardy Garcia. Thank you for all the hard work that you do to make this happen. It's a hassle to buy a car. But not here at Superior Subaru. Shop online and tour our inventory. Making life easier, getting to what matters. This holiday season, shop Subaru for the Subaru Share the Love event. Superior Subaru, making your dream a reality. That's right, folks. You heard Steven Stellar correctly. This is UPW Gold Rush, and we are having the DZW title on the line. The LAW on the, on the line. Afro Man versus Super Duper on. I can't wait. This It's happening. It's happening right now. We got a ref coming out to the ring. It's going to be champion versus champion. Winner take all. Chevy, you're speechless. I'm speechless. I you're just want to go down. These are two of my favorite competitors. There he is. Super Duper on. Other than his association with Blade Enterprises. I mean, David Dupron, what can you say about the man? One of the best competitors in Texas. Weightlifting champion, powerlifting champion, I should say. That's right. You know, I, I know this man so well. Uh, I, I I spent the last few years before coming over here to UBW in DZW as their ring announcer going up and down the road with that man right there, the DZW heavyweight champion, Super Duper on. I know him very well. I know that he is determined. He carries that belt with so much pride. DZW is where his heart is. Yes, he was the longest reigning UPW cruiserweight champion, but his heart and soul belongs in DZW, and that is his baby. That is his title. Of course, Johnny wants to talk. Oh, definitely. Of course. He is the manager of champions. Not that we don't have our beefs, but uh, all of his members have titles as we speak. It's title for title. There is going to be a title change no matter what happens here tonight. And here comes another former UPW Cruiserweight champion, Afro Man Stevie Hendricks. Right now, he is the current reigning LAW champion. Live and action that wrestling. Afro is Afro in. Afro Man Stevie Hendricks making his way. DZW and live action wrestling, both. Just amazing pr promotions out of Houston, Texas. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, uh, Chevy. Didn't we see in the past, maybe within the last year or so, Afro Man versus Duperon for the UPW Cruiserweight title? I believe that's who. That was true, right? That's who Afro Man won the belt from. That is correct. Shortly held. Shortly Just held. Just like a true champion yeah. put his belt up same night, I believe, against 
No, Chris Lyons. Chris Lyons, Who right. The Concrete Dragon. It. Who yeah. will be featured later tonight, one of my favorite matches of the night. If this isn't match of the night, that match will be match of the night against one of the best technical wrestlers in all the land. He is the Owen Hart of Texas. I will say it. Clay Roberts, all the way from Skipperville, Alabama. Afro Man, Duperon. They know each other very well. They've met before in championship matches. Afro Man came out on top with winning the Cruiserweight title, but now it's two different promotion titles that are on the line. Live action wrestling, domination zone wrestling. Both of the titles are up for grabs. Man, this is what happens at Gold Rush. It's insane. It's been an insane night. I'm losing my voice. Yes. I'm so high. I've got beaten up by stairs, second turnbuckles. I do feel like I've made Johnny Blade look a little a little Whatever. foolish. A little foolish. A little my, foolish. My brother Nate Laws. <laughs> trying to get in that ring. This he wasn't crazy. ready. He wasn't, he wasn't ready. ready. I don't think anybody was. Nope. The links we went to to hide Nate Laws being here. Yep. Had him flown in on chopper. <laughs> Wore a mask in there. Nobody's ever seen Nate Laws under a hood. All right. Here we go. Let's see if we can get old Johnny Bade Blade to be rolled out of the ring. So we get this match started. Oh, 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 Afro Man feeling it, baby. He's well, feeling it. You know what? Maybe I'm focusing on Johnny Blade. Wrong. I love me some Afro Man. I'm still upset. I've not been taken to Electric Ladyland. You've not? You've I have never not. been? Never been. I've been invited. It's never uh, taken. It's very decadent. Uh, me, him, yes. Ben Rambo. We're supposed to go on this road trip. Never happened. I tell you, um, that's something you do when you're single. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you, know, check, you, know, you know, you can't go after you've already been married. No. Okay. That's that's a single. Noted. Trip. Noted. <laughs> I'm a man who's always up for adventure, but not that kind of adventure. There are the titles. Our uh, referee handing them off to Steven Stellar, our ring announcer. Now we're getting the check, the pat down. Let's see if we can get the match underway here soon at UPW Gold Rush Three. All of these sister promotions. Well, I don't know if Butcher. I want to say sister promotions. Yeah. That, that implies Brother. that they're lower. Brother not, promotion. They're not, no, they're that's not lower. lower. That's, 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 that's unity. That's, that's family. unity? Family? Yeah, okay. sister doesn't. doesn't. Okay. What, kind of, what are you trying to say, Pamela? Well, I, I don't that know. women are lower than men? Is no, that what you're trying no, to say? No, because you said no. sister, I said brother. <laughs> You're getting me in trouble, Jeff. I'm just saying. You're getting me what in trouble. What are you trouble. trying to say, Morales? No, I'm just saying that we respect all these other promotions. There's a lot the, of fro in this ring right now, bro. There's the a lot fro, of fro. The mo fro and the afro. Oh, this is great. This is this is the war of fros it's, right it's now. It's like original and extra spicy. Joined in the perch by our brother, Fireman, James Cargill. I'm hey, glad you're up, here, James? brother. <laughs> Checking from the perch. The I UPW mean, perch. this is a good view. It's a good vantage point. Yeah. It is. It is. All right. Oh, uh, look at Duperon. He's got a handful of hair. Hambone doesn't see. Oh, that's not Hambone. That's I'm not sorry. Hambone. <laughs> that's not Hambone. I feel very national yes. treasure in there. But he's a good right. ref. He's a yes. good ref. Yes. He hasn't, he hasn't earned his moniker it's, it's here in UPW. Hard. He's done a couple shows, though. Yes. Maybe next show we're going to find a moniker. Yeah, we need to find a nickname for him. Yeah. All right, to the corner. Here comes Duke. What, nope. are, what are your predictions in this match, Abel? I, I think we're going to see a lot of flippy do out of uh, out of Afro oh, Man. We ain't seen that. We're seeing big right hands right now. Uh, you're right. That man coming with oh, the thunder. Oh, look at that. That was a nice Did little. he shoulder tackle him or yeah, hit him with his Afro? Was well, that an Afro bump? A little bit of both. Mm. And then we're going to see Duperon just try to do his uh, technical and strength. And it's going to be. Oh, there he is. You got to catch him. Oh, oh. drop kick. What did I say? I don't even know what you call it. It was a drop kick spin off, landed on his back. Oh, good old-fashioned DDT. I'm not sure if the, the Mofro. the poison. The Mofro will protect you. Oh! oh! Somersault double leg drop in the middle of the ring, and here is, no, the kick out at two. I, I would have gone with the somersault double heel kick, but. Okay. He caught him with the heels. Yeah, well. Whoa, 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 Johnny Blade, Johnny uh, Blade don't want that. I think Johnny Blade is so jealous of all the hair that's in there right now. Yes, yes. You know, he wears a hat for a reason. He does. Oh, Af Afro Man sees an opportunity. He's coming off of the ropes and right through with the suicide dive. Uh -oh, but no, look Dupron at the power of Dupron. Oh, into the pole. Let's throw the facts out there that that man has been bulking up. He's on his way to a new state championship in powerlifting, oh, and we just elbow. saw that power. Ooh, shades of Macho Man Randy Savage. That's I felt a, it. Uh, oh, yeah. A thick 184 pounds coming off of the apron right there. He is uh, definitely leaned down a little bit, but still put on more muscle mass. That's right. He's Dupron trying to go. Oh, oh, another elbow to the back of the skull. I Again. Oh. oh, headbutts to the back. How about those headbutts? <laughs> that's, the, that's the mofro to the spine. It's hard <laughs> to walk after that. Yes. Somebody call a chiropractor. I mean, I think we might have a few here, don't we? Uh, 
Well, I'm still looking for a chiropractor sponsor. If any chiropractors out there listening. <laughs> yes. All right, here we go. You know, Dubrow's just wrenching back there, but oh no, looks like Afferman's oh trying to find a way up, but <laughs> I do probably again is playing a smart game. We've said yeah. it. You take the speed out of somebody, you slow them down. It's hard to run without a back. You know what I mean? Yes. It just is. That's true. That's true. That's how I mean that's what we saw uh with Matt Locke and Joseph Nick. You take out a, a body part that Whoa! We, that you would use to high fly. Boy, there's backer than knee. But I've never seen anybody reverse that quite that way. Would you call that a code breaker of, of sorts? I mean, knees or, up, a nutcracker, maybe. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. It's not even Christmas. I mean, somebody makes me want to sing Jingle Bells. Somebody's not going to Electric Ladyland tonight. <laughs> yeah, he has no need to. No, <laughs> no need, need to. to. Not anymore. Whoa! <laughs> big splash. Yep. Shades of Sting, right there. And then a reversal into the corner. Oh, goes up whip! <laughs> Again, he bounced, bounced out of the corner, Chevy. Mr. Chavarria, what the do you think? The only way that'd have been better is if. He'd have thrown him to the corner and then sat on a weight bench. Yes. Cut a promo. That's yeah. the only way that would have been better. I tell you, he loves cutting those promos on those weight ben benches, does uh, Duperon. Scooping him up like a rag doll. Okay, oh, we see? again, showing the bulk, Elbow. showing the power up. Size of a cruiserweight, but let and me tell you, no. David Dupron can hold any belt in UPW. And yep. as we're seeing, across the Houston area. Yep. Heavyweight champion at... He was Domination former, zone wrestler. Former, former DZW what? Lightning Division champion as well. Not only is he showing the power, Dupont is now headed to the top rope. Let's see what happens. Live action wrestling. It but the Afro. Oh, hit him with the oh. Rana! Hit him with the Rana! Hit him with the Rana! The live action wrestling champion. Yeah, gotta champion. be quicker than that against Stevie Hendricks. That's true. The aerodynamicness of his Afro guided him to the heavens. That's true. Oh, with the elbow, and uh, he's got it. He's got it. He's feeling it. There it is, he's another elbow. It. All the back pain is gone. He's feeling the energy of this Sizing crowd. Him up, kick, kick to another the old. kick. I would say bread basket. He brought it up high to the chest area. Yep. I mean, Dupron's known for those bench presses. Oh, oh bench press does not help he's you with flipping. the cutter. The live action wrestling champion now in control. Live action wrestling. You can see that. The in cross Houston. face. Is that a cross face? You can see that in Houston, Texas. And we see Domination Zone usually runs out of uh, Brookshire, uh, Texas, over there by like Katie. We're Whoa. out here in Santa Fe. Yeah, live action wrestling is kind of been running out of car bot, been running out of other parts of Houston. What I like, like about uh, live action wrestling is they will set up in a parking lot and have a show. Yeah. They're what independent wrestling is all about. Yeah. They'll set up anywhere just that, to bring you wrestling. That baby. guerrilla warfare mentality. Just show up anywhere. Love it. Oh, look, Johnny, Johnny Blaine trying to get involved. He's up on the apron. Jaw jacket with the referee. Providing Big the right hand. Oh, oh, wait. Now, did, did Dubron have something in his hand? What was that? There's something on the apron over there that's laying. I can't quite make out what it is. I don't know. It, it made Johnny's a, a, got a, it. a chingling sound when it Johnny's, hit the ground. Johnny's scooping it up. Made I made a the chingling sound. Did Stevie Hendricks just get chingling? Was that was that a roll of quarters? Do quarters make a chingling sound? I don't know, but these kids in Santa Fe just, just took them up. like. I mean, that was it. That was. They the got God, homie. I mean. These kids are going to the arcade. I mean, Take him to the snack bar, kids. I Money goes back to Santa Fe Fire Station. I, we have a new live action wrestling champion, apparently, be, being David Dupron. Did he just become Two Belts Dupron? Two Belt Dup? David, super. Two Belts Dupron. Oh, man. We've had a lot of double belt folks out here today. You know what they say by hook or by crook? So there's, Who's this gentleman in the suit? Do we know who this uh, gentleman is? Yeah, that's the is? Sarge. He uh, it represents the northern parts of uh, the Texas territories. I didn't know that. Yes. I believe uh, kind of up by like the panhandle and all that. But there we go. Our new LAW champion, live action wrestling champion. Oh, but wait a second. Wait a second. I think I think the referee has finally caught on. The referee sees whatever that object was. Was it a roll of quarters? I think that's what it is. I think it was a roll of quarters. I'm not sure. I can't tell from here, but is the ref calling it off? Is he calling it off, Chevy? I don't know. He already rang the bell by hooking by Crook. Oh. I say you didn't catch it the first time. Hold on, hold on. We don't got hold no on, instant on. replay. 
That's it, we're restarting the match. And Dupron is furious in the middle of this ring Dupron right now. Dupron is livid, we thought we had a new champion. Oh, oh it's security to, to the, the head. Temple. Dupron is down, here comes the count, one, two. No, oh, two, two and, and a half. half. Two and a half. No, no matter what you feel about this man, no matter how much he makes you mad, you got to give props to the mofro. You got to. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh! There goes a, a, a chin breaker. They're coming off of the ropes. I, the Afro thing man. about that moment, it definitely dashed the hopes oh, of many oh, children. Oh, oh! oh! Trying to go for it. I don't even know what you call that. It ended in a... In a uh, it, was, it was trying to be a DDT. It didn't quite get all of it. Whoa! There goes Dupron the again. Kicking out. See, Afro Man didn't execute that completely perfectly. Again, I feel like du I think Dupron has a few years in the wrestling game on Afro Man. I think he does. So I think that was just... Yep. I think he's riding on an autopilot. You're right, Chevy. From all the years of being in the ring. He knows. Hits, here's the two. Kick the feet. So we thought we saw a title change, uh, but no, that's not that's not the case. It looks like we have Johnny Blade up on the apron again, trying to provide more distraction. Oh, interception! Oh! Interception! Stevie Hendricks says my hook. Oh, my crook. Did he just hide that in his afro? One, two. Wait, what? Oh! Hold on. Hold on, Johnny Blade just tried to get into the ring. Ring the bell, is this going is out with the DQ? I you cannot serious? believe this. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, but Johnny Blade takes the cutter. Johnny Go Blade takes the cutter in the middle of the ring. Hendricks is mad. He deserves both <laughs> those belts. <laughs> It is not Johnny Blade's night. I really thought we were seeing a belt exchange tonight, people. Well, we do not. Johnny Blade has ruined my night more than once. Yeah, that's right. No titles change hands. David Dubron still the DZW champion. Afro Man Stevie Hendricks still the live action wrestling champion. No title change tonight, all thanks to, well, Johnny Blade and his shenanigans, his buffoonery, his tomfoolery just cost his man the title. Shout out to Claire Life Media. We'll be right back with another match. Again, Guardy Garcia, thank you for all that you do. You're showing Guardy a lot of yeah, love Guardy needs love. He works hard to make all this happen. You know what I mean? He works hard to make this happen. We're going to intermission, people. We'll be right back with some more action from Clear Life Media and Undisputed Pro Wrestling. This is Gold Rush. Every match has been fired tonight. I can't believe it. World Gym. Representing Envious, and they're representing the Stony Only crew. It is Tobar. Good old Emilio Tobar. He is the first know, time we've seen him in one-on-one -on -one action. That, yeah, that's right. But he's somebody that I've really been taking a shine to recently. Oh. I really like his great right worker abilities. in the ring. And then we got Stony Only. Uh, he it does have a championship belt that is not a part of UPW Gold Rush. I miss, I'm, I'm gonna shout it out. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna tell the truth right now. I miss the Dex Factor, Dex Harms, the Dex Lins of Dexecution. I'm not sure this crowd did hear him. I didn't hear him.
Ooh, I think Stoney only playing a little matchmaker in there. Stoney playing a matchmaker. So, like I was saying, Stoney only does have a championship belt around his waist, but is not recognized by any promotion in Texas. In fact, that Maybe is a belt. Maybe recognized by all of them. I mean, it's not. It's a belt mm -hmm. that he just purchased himself. It's his gold rush. He felt like he needed to bring his gold. Abel Morales. But that right there, that is a real sanctioned championship. That is the DCW Lightning Division Championship. As I said, Merchant mentioned earlier in the broadcast, uh, Chevy, it's I been, did It's spend, been a while since I've seen this man in the ring. I did spend a Sebi. lot of time in DCW. The Lightning Division is one of the most exciting divisions in all of professional wrestling. And right now, La Flama. Semi Mayhem is the Lightning Division champion. I, I work on the street and that you are high on this man. I that, love that, this man. That, that is your boy. That is your boy. Much He's like my Nate boy. Lawrence is my boy. That's your boy He's right now. He's my boy. Our boy's been wrestling tonight. Tonight's <laughs> been a heck of a show. Um, the only thing that I can say is the best thing that happened tonight is that Anthony Macaluso is not here to see it. That is the best thing, yes. So he missed the best show UPW has ever put on. So and I'm glad he's not here. I heard he got fired. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure if he got fired, but there is La Flama with the DCW Lightning Division Championship. And there goes Stoney out of the ring with a uh, belt that's not really sanctioned for anything. It's just Stoney's belt. That hey, man, on. that's all you, bro. That's all you. I'm telling you. I don't know. Do you, want, do you want beef with Envious? That's your, that's your uh, business, bro. Look, all I'm saying is that he, if he wants that belt to be sanctioned, he needs to give it to one of his wrestlers. Mm -hmm. Not a belt that a manager carries Maybe he around. got it for podcasting. Ma ma managers don't need, no, don't need belts. Well, he can have a champion of managers. <laughs> I mean, you could be a manager but of champions. But would it be him? Maybe he can fight Johnny Blade. A manager of champions would be Johnny mm, Blade. You know. I'm telling you, he should just give. Maybe that, he's the champion of managers. He should give that belt to Little Migo or or Tovar I do or, like or Dex. Little Migo. Give it to them and let them defend the title, like the uh, like like the million dollar belt. What know? happens here like in the NBS? FTW belt. Okay, I, I like you know I like where I like what you're doing I'm there. I'm just saying. I I just don't want people to be confused. They see a belt out there, they think that he's a champion. He's not a champion. Just wanted to clear that up. He could be a uh, talk radio <laughs> champion. I'm, I'm, I got or, your back or, or it could be a title that says, baby. "Will you marry me?" It could be, which we saw, we saw in intermission. Here. Is the is the TV gun? If the TV did not, for camera crew here at Clear Life Media, Guardy Garcia, shout out! If you Guardy can hear me, leave that intermission segment in. We uh, we had a we had a wedding proposal. A wedding proposal. We might even have a marriage in the ring. Who knows? Yes. But here we go, Lightning Division get crazy champion. Here. Just taking it to Tovar, but nope, Tovar coming out with some counters. Arm ringer of his own. La Flama trying to counter out of it. Oh, Sebi Mayhem. Oh. There you go. There's some moving right here, baby. I'll tell you, man, this Sebi is nobody to sleep on. Coming out with a little bit I, of mind I, I, games. I like this. I like the match here. I like the way yes. they're matched up. Almost equal in size. Seems like equal in speed and power. I mean, I think this this is going to boil it down to who has the most heart. Yeah. Look at that. In the corner coming out, watching the match, the uh, kid and play of UPW. Just Nick, oh, Stevie oh. Hendricks. And no, little turnabout. Uh oh. Kind of got an elbow to the face there. I, I, I look like a fist to the esophagus, if you ask oh, me. Oh, okay. The old esophagus punch. Thanks. Works every time. <laughs> And then again, shoot off the ropes. No, right into it. I knee. like that. Ooh. I like that. A little short exchange there. Tovar has an interesting assault. I believe it was uh, towards the end of 2020 or the beginning of 2021. That oh, that man right oh, there. hit him with the rana. La Flama. The Flama injured. with the rana. La Flama with the rana. He injured his uh, his arm. He broke his arm. I was there with them. Had to help him get to the hospital where his uh, bone was sticking out of, like. Who are we uh, talking about here? We're talking about La Flama, Sebi. He Sebi, oh. Oh, what a I, counter. That, that was uh, into a, what would you call that, almost a stunner it was like into a, the rope. Yeah, kind of. It kinda. looked 
painful. Yes, his arm is all healed up. He's made a comeback. He's won the DZW Lightning Division Championship. And now he's here today at UPW facing Tovar. Oh, wow, that was the Lariat. Two. That's just a two count. Oh. Gonna take a little bit more to take Semi Mayhem out. I miss old two count Lobo, but I don't know what he's doing over in Texas All Star. I don't know. He's, I he, saw he. Uh, he's been up to something. He turned the stripes in. Maybe get in the ring one more time with old Stray Galactica. Uh, Shout out Texas All Star, yes, another company yes. who has a show tonight. Yeah, they're, they're not represented at Gold Rush. That's the only reason why they're not represented right. because they have their own show. They would be here. Oh, we, we are not shunning Texas All Star Wrestling. Neither uh, uh, PWF. They're also running tonight, too. They are. So shout out to them, PWF. Also in the Houston Look area. This. And oh! this, ain't for, this, ain't called, this ain't for the Lightning Division oh. for nothing. That was a You picture. see these boys move around the ring? One, two. That was Do a not blink, baby. No. Do not blink. Quick as lightning. That was a picture perfect drop, pick it, drop kick as well. Coming off of intermission, these boys. Textbook. Keeping this crowd. A fire. Oh! Oof. It's hard to move without your spine. Look at yep. it. Look at our hand bone. National treasure hand bone feeling it himself. Sympathy pain from hand yes. bone. Yes, yes. That's what makes him a national treasure. Hand bone's a good man. Short arm clothesline. He's, Tomar's still holding on to that wrist. Still has wrist control. Another short arm clothesline. Picking Sebi up again. And he's going to go for a third. Oh! Uh, Sebi's not doing good here, folks. One, two. Do count. Come on, Sebi. I know you can do it. I'm sorry. I'm being a little bit biased here. Like I said, that's I, hey, my I love, boy. I love, I love. Anthony Magluso's not here. He wears a shirt that says unbiased sometimes, but I love I love being biased. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Tovar. There was a little tiny player roaming by the ring. I'm glad he got out of the way. No no telling what's going to happen in this uh, yeah, I, I love lightning division from Domination Zone Wrestling. I love Tovar. I love the cojones on Stony only. Um, you know, oh. all the misgivings that I have about the Stony Championship, all that aside, I love so far what I've seen here, the maturing out of the Texas wrestling independent scene. Both of these competitors just are up and coming stars here in Texas. And oh no, it looks uh -oh. like he held There's on. There's one. There's one. And here comes. Is Tobar trying to find his way to my heart? There's dos. Numero dos. I like that. Y vamos a hit, hacer la tres. Hit him again. I need three friends. I need three friends. There's a third friend. Los tres amigos. That makes me excited. Tovar. And the shimmy. Yeah, yeah. And the shimmy. You gotta love the Latin shimmy. El Medio. He's feeling himself. Uh-oh. Going to the top. High risk maneuver here for the Lightning Division Championship. Look oh, at that. Oh, 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 oh. There's, there's some of that smarts of uh, Sebi Mayhem. All right, let's see. We, we, they're both perched up top up there. This is dangerous territory for both of these competitors. Who's going to get the better? Oh, oh. We got punches to the bread basket right there by Tobar to Sebi. It's punches to the back right in the deltoids. Those are deltoids, well, I guess right? you could call it the tortilla hole. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what do you call that thing? That whole tortilla. It's a tortilla hole. Is it? It has to have a name, I and mean, I love it. I'm sure it does. I love it. Give my tortillas one. One, two. That's just a two count right there. Throwing up the horns. <laughs> H-Town, baby. Both men are kind of struggling to, to get their bearings again. This match is taking a little bit out of both competitors. All right, Tovar's up. Sebi's still down, still in the corner there. Crowd getting behind Sebi Mayhem. La Flama, straight from the Barrios of Houston, Texas. Oh, up and under, up and under. Off Nobody home. Oh. But boom, you see him spark that lightning. These boys are all over the spring. Moving quick, don't blink. Oh, slingshot, that man's right down. He's back up on his feet. Sebi coming Real through. Into the oh lucha lucha <laughs> lucha! We I, needed a little more lucha tonight. That's the only thing we hadn't really seen a whole lot of. Well, but it's I, here. I tell you, it's I've, here at I've UPW Gold that. Rush. I've seen that out of Sebi many a time. And if he's going up top and he's doing what I think he's doing, you're going to want to get your cameras, your DVRs, your screenshots ready, folks. 
Here comes a oh, oh, but oh. nobody home. I think Kobar baited him. I mean, I guess Maybe so. it was coming. That could have been it. I, I jinxed him. I jinxed Much him. Much under the instruction of Stoney only. That's why he has that belt. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. He's great instruction. He didn't beat anybody to win it. You don't know that. You don't know his history. You don't know his fighting history. Oh, now, he, now that belt's Who's coming this? into play. Who is this? What's going the on mass here? vlogger? Who's this mess guy? The mass vlogger oh. is on there? Stoney just hit his own guy oh, with no. the Stoney title. <laughs> this is why you don't need that title at ringside, Stoney. One, two, three. La oh. Flama wins. La Flama wins. Stoney only, baby. What happened? I like that we have talk radio host managing a mess vlogger coming in for the, you know, this is this is just wrestling where it's at now, using all kind of social media to win I, matches. I mean, if you're watching this, you're probably you watching it on say? YouTube. You need social media to help your career. Yeah. <laughs> we had a podcaster and a vlogger helping, uh, attempting to help. Brother, Tobar. you were a podcaster. I was. I was a podcaster. I was. I, I'm, now I'm a YouTuber. Yes. You know? That's how we do it nowadays. This is 2022, Shout out to YouTube, brother. baby. Shout, Shout out to YouTube. Houston Wrestling Radio, brother. Houston Wrestling Radio. And then right there, that man victorious. La Flama, Sebi Mayhem, DZW, Was Tobar, was Tobar mad at Stoney? Tobar is mad at Stoney, and Bart. I don't blame him. Stoney had that belt out there, but for no reason. He didn't need to have that belt. Look at Tobar jaw jacking back with Stoney. <laughs> I mean, he's got some really big cojones, big stony cojones. The question of the night, does Tobar even need stony yeah, only? But that didn't work. That did not work. All right, folks, we have some more action coming up for you here at UBW Gold Rush 3. Don't go anywhere. Keep it tuned in here to Clear Life Media on YouTube. Thank you, Guardy Garcia. I'm Anna Dellinger and this is Heather Laurie and my little sister Michelle West and we're at Legacy Collision. We are an all-service automotive collision center here to service anybody who has a little fender bender all the way up to a major accident. We work with all major insurance companies, all female run. You can reach us at 409-440-8900 on our website, LegacyCollisionTX.com or on social media, Facebook and Instagram. We are continuing a legacy, creating a legacy and leaving a legacy here at Legacy Collision. And we are back. This time we're gonna have a championship match. That's gonna be one of ours. They're all championship matches tonight, almost. Yeah, well this one, this is for the UBW Texas Championship. You ready? I don't know if I'm ready. Thank you, know, you Steven Stellar. I have been giving know. a lot of props to Guardy Garcia and yeah. the real heartbeat behind yeah. Clear Life Media. We couldn't have it without them. Anthony? Anthony Macaluso? No, Logan and Braxton, the camera guys oh. that are out here. Shout out to Guardy and all the camera guys. What is this? What is Wait, happening right now? Wait, who's that? Oh, that's, you were asking me about him earlier. That's the Sarge. He, uh, you know, represents the northern part of Texas. And he's being accompanied by, well, none other than Nathan Briggs. They call him the main event, Nathan Briggs. He, uh, he's a big deal up in the northern parts of Texas by the Panhandle, over there by the Oklahoma border. He's a very heavy hitter. That's why they call him the main event. He's being accompanied by the Sarge. And I guess he's the one that's gonna be challenging tonight for the Texas Championship, challenging Kid Ransom, the Texas Wild Card. The Texas Wild Card, the hot fight. Kid Ransom, he lives the gimmick. Have you there's, ever, there's, no, there's no stories, there's no anything. He is a cowboy who is troubled right now and has Blade Enterprise in his sights. I don't know where this man's coming from. Oh, I'm looking what, at the oh, ceiling. What's going on here? Sarge just stole the mic from Steven. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the leader. Introducing and coming into the ring right now, okay? It is magnificent. He is the selected one. He is the first one. He selected. is the primary member of the resistance. The resistance? I yeah. Maybe we should have the resistance fight to change. Ladies and gentlemen, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing 220 pounds, he is the main event, Nathan Reed. 
Lawless. I said Nate Law was the main event. This man's stealing Nate Law's moniker. Whoa. Don't you wow. drop that man's jacket. I mean, did he get that jacket from you? Sean? No, he did not. He did not? See, Steven Stiller has a jacket game I wish I had. I might have inspired <laughs> the jacket game, but the man is out of control. Wow. I, I, I tell His you what. jacket game is have you ever had the above pleasure, reproach. We'll say that. Have you ever had the pleasure of watching Nate Briggs before? I've, I've, this is my first time to lay eyes he, on him. He Nate is Briggs. very hard hitting. He reminds me a lot of Ken Ransom. He's the rough and tumble brawler. Where is this ransom coming from? You never know. You never know what, what Ken door, ransom. nowadays you what don't know. What area? Where is this man coming from? Hello. We're looking for him. We're looking for him. Where's the rider? Where's the Texas wild card? I mean, Where is the hoss fight? Oh, there oh, he is. coming out the bottom door out of the corner. Talk to Steven Stellar after this match. We need more monikers. <laughs> Just the Texas wild card. Oh, handing off the Texas championship to his daughter, as well as his cowboy hat. I hope he just covers her in the jacket. Okay. There we go. Oh, no, no, just trading off the jacket Look at for that. the title. That's my favorite thing I've seen all night, that little cutie patootie. <laughs> she is precious. Your talkers are punching in the eye, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? You look at her cross. <laughs> she has a soul of her daddy. That is true. All right, here we go. That, that, the world, UPW, Gold Rush here in Santa Fe, Texas. Shout out to Clear Life Media. Thank you, Guardy Garcia, for all that you do. <laughs> what is with you it and Guardy? I mean, I'm giving the man props. I mean, he I know. He worked so hard to make all this happen. I, there's got to be more to it than that. All right, here we go. Texas Championship, Nathan Briggs versus Kid Ransom. So this I is think, oh, Nathan Briggs from Georgia about to find out what the Texas wild card is all about. Hashtag bias. Now, hopefully he doesn't take the Texas Championship away from this area of Texas, take it back up north to, uh, to the northern panhandle of Texas. I mean, I know he's originally from Georgia, but he typically wrestles in the northern part of the state. No, no, Kid Ransom's trying to get the attention of the referee. He says, hey, let's start this match. Check me, pat me down. Let's get this going. Nathan Briggs is just taking a little bit more time, though. Hey, Nathan's just putting up a whole bunch of uh, piss and vinegar there for no reason. Ransom calling for the cheers of the crowd. We're hearing it. Out here in Santa Fe, Texas, firmly behind the Texas Wild Card, Kid Ransom. I don't know. This man don't know what's about to happen to him. <laughs> you know, uh, Nathan Briggs has been all around a lot all over Texas. I'm sure he, he must have encountered Kid Ransom at some point. If so, I never witnessed it, but I, I've witnessed him uh, wrestling at DZW a couple of times. So I, he's no stranger to this area of Texas. Ransom showing his power. Yep. I mean, these are two hosses. This is going to be a hoss do, fight. Do you know the uh, how many years Mr. Briggs has been in the business? I do not know, but it's been quite a bit. I know we're putting putting about 15 for Ransom. He's definitely a veteran in the ring. Oh, yeah. Legend I mean, in the Texas area. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Nathan is around the same. I don't, I don't think uh, uh, there's been a ring set up around the Texas area that Ransom hasn't set, stepped his boots in, you know. That's true. Kicked up dust in. Oh, looks like manager out there on the outside was trying to swipe at Kid Ransom's boot. Get a little bit of uh, underhanded tactics in there. But no, they're they're rolling around, getting getting their hands dirty. Both of these competitors here right now. Oh, 
Oh man, these two are now slugging it out. Big right, right hands, oh! And, oh, I think we might see a Texas chop. Whoa. Oh! You see Kid Ransom put that boot to the corn basket? It was the cornbread. Corn, it was a cornbread corn reference. Cornbread, yeah. yeah. All right. They, they look like two guys just get down with cornbread. All right, here's another one. Everyone pipe down. Oh, gunshot oh. chop! Woo! What are they eating in Atlanta besides cornbread? Uh, it was more of a Texas cornbread reference. Oh, I don't okay. know what they eat in Atlanta. Um, Native Texas born and bred. Yeah. Dropping that elbow. I mean, Ransom really slowing this guy down. The chili with no beans. Here in Texas. Yep. Not, yeah, for sure. Chili with no beans. If it has uh -oh. beans, it's uh -oh. just uh -oh. Ransom. Ransom. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like when Ransom turns it up like that. That was just a belly flop. Hey, all right, Ransom might be the uh, next challenger for the Lightning Division. <laughs> I mean, he's a devil. If he keeps moving like that, I don't see why yeah. not. I mean, at one point, the DZW Lightning Division champion was Silky Baines, and Silky is a big, big guy. But I didn't know that. He ran around that. the ring a couple of times. He can move. Oh, oh big boot. Ransom taking it to the face. Texas Championship on the line here. This is for a, a pretty big marble. A pretty big marble. I, I don't know what these guys do to deserve to get into these matches or ransoms to fighting champion taking on anybody that Hold on, look says at the Sarge. They oh. Look at the Sarge over there trying to get I don't think the Sarge inside. knows who the rider is. I don't think he knows that the, the spirit that flows through that uh, man. Uh, uh, he got his cheap shot in though. That just pissed off Kid Ransom, but he's distracted. Big clothesline from the outside. Ransom down on the concrete. Oh man. Ransom kind of got suckered in there. I hate to say it. I mean, you know, I've known him for a long time. I, I consider that man a friend, but buddy, you got suckered in. Got him. All right. Here goes. No, right spine to the metal post, holding up the ring. You know, they say the apron's the hardest part of the ring. No, sir. That metal post Bye. is the hardest part of the well ring. Well said. Well said, my friend. But again, Nathan Bragg showing a veteran move, man, slowing him down. Oh, here comes the Sarge. The oh, no. Kid Ransom saw it coming. He's got a handful of blazer coat jacket. Kid is in China. Manhandle Sarge. He's Managers just do not have good luck here in UPW. Uh-uh. I might maybe try my hand in managing. It's one of the only few things I have not done here at Undisputed Pro Wrestling. Oh! oh! Big right hand hurt throughout the arena. Chris Rock knows what that's like. Whoa, Lordy. Hey, Nathan Briggs, you keep Ransom's name at your mouth. <laughs> Oh! oh. I never, Caught him. He tried to know, move. I don't think I've ever seen Kid Ransom do a crescent kick like that. There it was. It was very crescenty. Very beautiful. Oh! oh. Kid Ransom's really moving tonight. Right. Showing the arsenal, baby. He took Pulling out all the bags of tricks. He took an extra blue chew tonight. He's sitting next to the Abernathy family. Yep. Faithful's here at UPW. Shout out to them. Taking we selfies. appreciate y'all. He got the... <laughs> He got the, the name tag for the seat stuck it's to gone. his back. It's, it's gone, gone now, yeah. Again, uh, Briggs pulling out the uh, the old veteran move, using using very ring awareness, using the entire ring as an offensive weapon. Yep. Ran some rookie mistake. You should have watched him. You knew that was coming. Now, see, why is Sarge wearing sunglasses indoors at night? Do you know? So he can see. Maybe he's a Corey Hart fan. <laughs> Maybe. All right, Nathan Briggs is trying to rain down a couple of punches right to the face of Kid Ransom. That crowd cheering for Ransom. They're trying to will the Texas Wild Card on, but no, he's just getting choked that out. That just fuels the spirit of the rider. That's the thing about Ransom, something changing this man. This isn't the Ransom that you have seen years ago. This is a new Ransom, and I don't know exactly what happened or where it came from, but he can reach in the depths of his soul and pull a power I mean, we've seen the that power, seen. some sort of weird mystical powers that he's been having lately. And I don't just know. I don't have answers. Burnt cards just show up in pockets and pants. And crack an egg and put it under our bed and see if it's cooked in the morning. I don't know what kind of powers <laughs> Ransom's pulling here, but we're seeing it. So Nathan Briggs better not get comfortable in that ring. Like I said, I, I consider that man a friend, but, well, here comes the cover. The I don't, disrespect. I, I don't know Didn't what even kind of hook of the leg. That's true. I don't know what kind of brucheria he's gotten himself into, but I don't know. I don't know either. 
he's not the same ransom of yesteryear. Oh, here comes the school boy. That. One, two. No, that was just a two count. All right. There was another clothesline. Both men are just trying to gather themselves up. Nathan Briggs crawling over, trying to get a pin. I, I think that's technically a cover. Oh, but the sit-up! The sit-up from Kid Ransom! Whoa! That's that voodoo Santeria. Dropping him down again, though. It don't matter if you can sit up and you can kick two. right in the face. Two! I don't know what this is, what kind of mystical powers Kid Ransom has nowadays, but it's, it's, it's puzzling, it's concerning, but it's working, more importantly. I, I, all I know... Ransom came in here, left in the ambulance, came back different. He May did. have spent some time on a reservation. I ain't got no crystal ball. And if I had a million dollars, I'd spend it all. Oof. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, shoot off of the rope. No reversal. Nathan Briggs comes, bouncing off. Go for a clothesline, dunk underneath, and... Oh, and now Ransom's buster. a big man. Oh, was that an atomic drop or a spine buster? I think buster? it was an atomic drop gone haywire. Either yeah. way, it caught all the Ransom. I think that's two shots. We're lucky that Ransom's already had kids. Yeah, right in his wild cards. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. I, you know, but to be honest, I'm, I'm not sure if that was executed to where Nathan didn't hurt himself I off think of so. that. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Ransom and, and, and Ransom ain't no lightweight. You know what I mean? That's true. You can't throw him around like a like a Chris Carter or no. an Afro man. Yes, no, no, no. So... Nothing against but, Chris hey, Carter or Afro, man. I'm Nate, just saying. Nathan, no, I got you. I got you. Nathan Riggs reaching for the rope. All right, Nathan Riggs looks like he's uh, up a little bit. Ransom to his feet. Look at that. This is exactly what we're talking about. How is that man standing right now? Main event firing off. A big right hand. Let's see if we're not, wild we're not, card. We're not calling him the main event. That's their moniker well, that's in Georgia or wherever they're from. Yeah, Georgia, that's not North, it. This is North Texas. Nate Laws is the main event. <laughs> we're just throwing that out. They're clearing it up in these parts. 409 representing. Apparently you have multiple main events. <laughs> Co-main event. <laughs> main event 9-1. Main event 9-2. Triple main event. Whoa. Uh, you know, that one didn't have as much mustard as we normally see. Look at Ransom's face. That chop did not Look have. At, I, I believe Ransom is now waiting for another chop. I can't believe this. He liked it. I, I don't know many men who. Oh, no, ineffective. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is what we're talking about right here. Mr. Briggs, you just done pissed off, kid. You awoke the rider. I'm, I'm, somebody check that man's nipples. They might have flown off like pepperonis with that double chop. <laughs> Here comes one from Whoa, Ransom. one, two. Those heavy right hands. Oh, and the roll up oh, definitely coming flip. in honor of the son, the son of a plumber. Elbow dropped right between the eyes. That was the three count. There we go, your winner, Kid Ransom. Oh my God. Knocked him out with the atomic elbow drop right between the eyes. Do we have a chiropractor? I'm not sure. Now we need an eye doctor to check out Mr. Briggs, make sure he's not living the rest of his life cross-eyed from that elbow the, right between the eyes. The flip flop and fly right between the eyes. And still the Texas champion. Undisputed Pro Wrestling's Texas champion, our Texas wild card. Oh, the rider. The rider, kid Ransom. The hoss fight, which we just saw. Man. Straight out of Crosby, Texas. He's try is he trying to revive Nathan Briggs? Maybe Briggs doesn't. Briggs says, I don't know if he wants anymore. Yeah, he said, I don't want none. He says, come here, house. What's, Let me what, do a ransom what, voice. What, what's ransom Come here, house. Let's bring you to your boots. That, was, that, was that a good ransom? Uh, eh. Sarge trying to console his man over there. It's like, come on, let, let's try all Ransom the way trying up. to be a good sport. Let's drive all the way up to the northern part of Texas, and I'll get you some prom. I don't know what they do in North Texas, <laughs> but down here in the south, 409 Galveston County, Santa Fe, Texas, this is how we do Texas championship matches. Yeah, you can keep your prom's. We got our water burger, and we got Kid Ransom. That's right. I like that. 
There he is, Woo! the Texas champion. Getting jiggy with it That's right cool. in the middle of the ring. I, like, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> All right, we're going to have some more hot action here. UPW Gold Rush coming up soon. Keep it tuned in here. Clear Life Media. Thank you. Thank you, Grady Garcia. Guardy. Guardy. What did I say? Did I you say said Grady? Grady. My bad. Guardy Garcia. Guardy Garcia. Clear Life Media. Guardy Garcia from Clear Life Media. Guardy Garcia from Clear Life. Everybody say it. Everybody know it. The heartbeat of Clear Life Media. We're, we're going to have a UPW Tag Team Championship match coming up. We'll see you in just a moment. Ransom revving this crowd up. to be the best. Pushing beyond failure, the first to show up and the last to leave. Working towards a goal, pursuing a purpose, a passion. It comes from the inside. Some are born with it, others create it. What drives the dream? What drives your dream? If you gotta ask, you may never know. Ron Carter League City, you deserve it. That's right, UBW Cruiserweight Champion. There he is, all the way from Skipperville, Alabama. This could quite possibly be a match of the night. I have not said that enough. The man himself, Clay Roberts, one of the best technical wrestlers I've ever seen set foot in the ring. He is the Owen Hart of Texas. I will say it. I will say it. The man gets in the ring. See, the thing about this match coming up, you're not going to see a lot of high-flying nope. um, crap. This is pure wrestling. This is what independent wrestling should be about. These men are, are going to grapple. They, they're going – I don't think we're even going to get a pin. I almost am willing to bet money at the end of this night. We're going to get a tap out. You know That's what? what they want. You know what? I, I have to be honest. I've never had the pleasure – of witnessing Clay Roberts. I don't even know if you're a wrestling fan right now, Evan Morales. <laughs> if you've never seen Clay Roberts, I've in never the ring. seen him wrestle. I've never seen him wrestle. Has he been here at UPW before? This is his first step in UPW. And I've never seen him at DCW. I've never seen him at Loco. You know, uh, I'm just, I'm saying, I Maybe have he's not. he's on a higher level uh, <laughs> than everything. <laughs> I just haven't had the opportunity. I haven't had the pleasure to see him. But he is here. Challenging at UBW Man. Gold Rush. Yeah, UBW we're going to talk about his skills. Cruiserweight we're going to talk about his ability. One of the best technical wrestlers, technicians, has ever set foot in this ring. Let's not forget the splashy robe this man's wearing right now. I mean, it's it's nice. It it's looks nice. super nice. It looks better than Steven Seller's jacket. I don't I don't want to go that far, <laughs> but it's nice. It's silky. It is so. It looks it looks very nice. Yeah. Looks like it feels good. But, oh. but at the end of the day, yeah, we all know you Chris have, Lyons. You have to fear ain't nothing to mess with, baby. The Concrete Dragon, Chris Lyons, our UPW Cruiserweight Champion. I, I I had it in the interview earlier. I said, hey, a lot of people have changed their mind about you. The crowd used to despise you, but now they love you, and it's probably because of what happens in the ring. How do you feel about that? And he said, you know what? You're right. It is because of what I do in the ring. And he doesn't really care how you feel, but if you like him, you like him. But he does it for the Armada. Did you not hear me? Chris Lyons ain't nothing to mess with. He ain't nothing Chris to mess Lyons with. Chris Lyons is forever. Hashtag for the Armada. If you're if you're down with him and if you're with the Armada, he does it for the Armada. I'm taking off this bike because I got something to yell. Who's the champion? <laughs> Thank you for taking off the mic before You're you did that, Chevy. Who's the champion? I would have permanent Chris ear Lyons damage. Is the champion? I don't even know if they can hear me down there. The Concrete Dragon, straight from the Kaiju Islands by way of Green. Those Boy children Texas. need to not get that close to Chris Lyons. <laughs> they yes, not. the, the but fans they love might him. be loving him. They love him now. He's still a little uh, this is, uncertain. We'll say that. This is love through respect. 
I, I said that I respected what he's done in the ring many a times. I love his style. I love what he does. But he, sometimes he just had a bit of a surly attitude. But now that surliness has kind of given way to a little bit of acceptance and said, you know what? I don't need that. I'm going to do what I need to do in the ring to get the job done. And people will see it. And the, it's just it's, it's the quality. People can see the quality of what he does in the ring. I'm not even listening to you right now. <laughs> I'm so in this match right now, April Morales. Well, it's, you don't even know. You don't even know what's going through my head and through my heart right now. I guess not. Are you doing it for the Armada? Uh, definitely for the Armada. Okay. It's hard. I'm, I'm definitely on board for the Armada. I even drive a Nissan Armada. That's how much I love the Armada. <laughs> All right, let's but give it to Clay Steven. Clay Roberts is the real deal. This is pure wrestling. These men are going to fight until the... They're going to try to make the other one give up. They're beyond. They're above and beyond just pins in the ring. They're not going for no schoolboys. They're not going for no roll-ups. They're going to make the other man quit. This all started from Chris Lyons calling out Clay Roberts on the internet because he wanted a challenge like he's never had before, and Clay Roberts is that challenge. Now, where does Clay Roberts normally wrestle? Do you know, Chevy? He is part of reality of wrestling. Oh, really? Train WWE by two WWE Hall of Famers now. By two? Charmel went into the oh, that's right. Hall of Fame. But fights all over Texas. <laughs> I like that. Clay Roberts said, settle down. Settle You're getting down too now. excited for me. Come on. I came in a silk robe. You think I like that energy? <laughs> I'm trying to chill. You know, I, showing respect also to ROW, man. I mean, you know, sometimes they're, they're the big dogs, the big fish in, in Texas wrestling. But we respect them, too. Bro, I, all of Texas wrestling is so hot right now, I'm not even sure there's levels anymore. <laughs> Everywhere you go has its ups and, and has its stars, has its people that can move on, and, and that can hang in AEW, hang in WWE. Every single um, independent wrestling in Texas, I've seen guys. ROH? ROH. A lot of them have been on there. You know, we had I, Sam Stackhouse, uh, part of GCW, GCW, Game Changer Wrestling, earlier yeah. tonight. Chris Carter, also part of GCW. UPW is making a name for themselves here in the South, here in um, the 409 Galveston County. So many promotions represented here tonight. The, Let's watch. Let's watch this match. I mean, oh, here we go. Talk. These are <laughs> these are two men skilled. They're 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 writing stories with their moves. They're painting pictures. They're the the Picassos of their generation. And in this. Uh, Chevy, I'm glad that you broke it down a little bit earlier while you were talking all over Steven Stellar. I'll talk all over Steven <laughs> but, Stellar. But but I'm glad that you broke it down, saying that basically one two oh two count. Basically, Chris Lyons called out this man. He said, "I want to." Oh, another two count there. He called him out. Said. I want to make you submit. Look at this. Look at this. Clay Roberts, bring him to his feet, bringing him over, up and over, rolling. And, and Clay Look said, no, this. I'm going to make you submit. And here we go, rolling this guy up like a pretzel. No, and trying to go for a pin. I don't, I don't even know if this crowd knows what's going on right it's now. It's a submission and a pin at the same the, time. If the, if the depth of the artistry of wrestling, they're capturing. These two men, the, the repugnance of this crowd right here in Santa Fe, which I totally love. <laughs> the they just might not be on, on, on on this level of understanding. That was on your the word glory. of the day toilet paper, huh? You know, you know. <laughs> Shout out to my man, Eddie El Huapo. He uses repug a lot with me. <laughs> El Huapo. Yeah. All right, we had a bit of a rope break there. Oh, who's the champion? He said it. He who's, said it. Who's the champion, Chevy? Chris Lyons. Chris right. Lyons is the champion. That's what right. What are your predictions here? I don't, I don't know where to go. I don't you have know answers. what my predictions are? Pain and lots of it. That's my prediction. We're seeing it already. It's already coming to fruition. Look at that. I've never, I've never seen Lions back down like that. Yeah. He, he, I mean, no, he was going for the rope. It was strategic. It wasn't out fear. It was strategic. This is chess, man. I hear you. They're not I playing checkers in Lions that ring. Lions looks a little worried. I've never seen it before. I get nervous. Uh, I no, get nervous for my man. He's still in he's control. He's the champion. He's in control. This is exactly what he wanted. He asked for this. He asked for this. He sure did. But I don't know if Clay Roberts knows. Clay Roberts wasn't even sure who he was. This all started on KHEA Radio oh interviewing my. Clay Roberts. Oh, look at that Lions throw. Lions wrote into the radio and called him out. 
And Clay Roberts' response was like, sure, I don't know who that guy is, but I'll fight him. <laughs> Chris Lyons is trying to let Clay Roberts you know, know who he what is. What were you saying, it, saying earlier in the night that this is, you know, the age of social media, YouTube, you know, uh, uh, Twitter, all that stuff. This feud was born out of, like, that type of thing. Right. You, right. It was KEJA radio. Yeah, it was on FM radio and, and on, on Facebook. Yeah. This, this feud was born out of social media. So, you, you know what? If you're not following UPW on social media on Facebook, you need to do it now. You need to get added to the UPW community group on Facebook. Go find it now. It's great. It's great. Look at that. Oof. Oh, headlock takeover. Clay Just, Roberts, man. I'm impressed by this guy so far. I knew that there was a lot of hype. I never had the pleasure of watching him. Right. But you know what? I'm liking what I'm seeing. This is making me forgive Stevie Hendricks. I feel like I'm an electric lady land right now watching this match. <laughs> I mean, sometimes that feels a little bit different. <laughs> you know? A little bit different, I feel. All right. We got a head scissors right there. Ask him. Ask him, ref. Whoa. Oh. I've never seen anybody kick out of a head scissors yeah, before. He's popped right on One leg there. takedown. Look at this. Oh. Uh-oh. He's got the arm trapped, does uh, Chris Lyons, trapping the arm of Clay. This is it. I told you, these men Mr. are Roberts. trying to make the other man give up. They want the pride. I think this is above the cruiserweight belt. This is the pride. He called out. Ooh. He found one of the best technicians in all the land and called him out. And now this match is happening right now. And, oh, man, that, that sounded like a shotgun. Oh, there's another one. Oh, oh. the exchange. Woo. Yeah. Ow. That hurt, that hurt my ears. <laughs> Sorry, whoever's editing this is probably going to be Garvey. <laughs> Will it? Mr. Garcia, we apologize. Whoa! Right off of the rope. Using that rope. Look at this arsenal. Using the entire. Oh, inside. Over. Oh, spin. Uh, nice little tornillo right there. I don't even know what to call it. Spinning over the top. A spinny, spinny flippy do? Yeah. <laughs> and there's oh, two count. <laughs> He's telling the ref to go to three. Go to three. Yeah, let's see what happens here. Oh, no. <laughs> no, here we go. Oh, man, you know, I can't really call this action because they're just doing so much. Oh, but they're chopped. Jeez. <laughs> Those chops are just brutal, man. And it's on both, both parties. Little back elbow, reverse elbow to the jaw of Lions. And another two count. <laughs> Man. You know, they, they, it was said that they want to try to submit one another, but a lot of pins have been attempted. Do you think that's not because they're trying to get the three count, but, but maybe because they're trying to wear each other out? Do you think maybe that's what it is? I think so. I think that, that again, this match is... is is beyond belts. I think it's for pride. Oh, it is. I think both these men are some of the best technicians in this game right now. Yeah. Again, uh, the arrogance of Clay Roberts not knowing who Chris Lyons is. Uh, he should know that Chris Lyons ain't nothing to mess with. I mean, to be but honest, again, I didn't know Clay, Clay Roberts either. And that's your fault. I mean, it is. I don't deny it. I'm, su I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Well, and I, you broke my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to break your heart. I don't like that. Oh, kick to the uh, the bread basket. Good, good. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't throw a. Uh, I, I didn't anything say anything crazy out there. I didn't say anything. Just stick with bread basket. One, two. What kind of bread. Another kick out. I mean, some good bread. Why'd your voice change when you said that? I, I mean, I like bread. <laughs> There's a reason why I'm diabetic. I hear you. <laughs> Shout out to all the diabetics out there. <laughs> Shout out to all the diabetics. Thank you, Dr. Pepper Zero. <laughs> all right. Oh, Clay is trying to mock the crowd a little uh -oh. bit. Oh, <laughs> look at this. In the middle of the ring, face to face, you don't come forehead to forehead. Oh, oh, you don't come out to, to stand up there. Gunshot. Mark and, and mock this crowd. Because we're lucky we're in the fire station and people will be calling the police. You know, Chris Lyons is the pride of Santa Fe, Texas. Oh, I'm, you're right. We hadn't even mentioned that. Pride of Santa Fe, Texas. This, these people are in this match right now. And the hook. Another, another hook. Deep cover. Nope. Clay Roberts just wants this to end. Near fall, that did not go all the way. I think I think Clay Roberts might feel like this match is beneath him. You know, and, and you know, maybe he has abandoned. He feels like I just need to get out of here. Yeah, maybe he abandoned the whole thing of making him submit. Maybe it's like, right. man, let me just pin this guy and get out of here. I think so. 
I mean, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell what strategy and what's doubt. European uppercut. Yes. All the way from Europe. All the way. Clay Roberts reached into his bag of tricks. I mean, he's from, from, from Bama, he's but he's, he's Texas Tree. Skipperville, Alabama. Skip Clay Roberts, there's signs that say home of Clay Roberts in Skipperville, Alabama. <laughs> and you don't even know who this man is? I don't even I I'm don't sorry, even know. I didn't know. I don't even want to hear from you right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad I know now. Oof. Look at Lions reaching deep in his soul from the voices of the people. To rise up a warrior here in UPW to hold on to the title, For to the, the belt, Armada. to the cruiserweight. That's what the Armada's all about. Big right hand. Oh, missing. Oh, German suplex. Oh, this is a match where you cannot make one single mistake because the other man will capitalize. Mr. Roberts went for a ride. Let's see if we could see some of that training that Chris Lyons received in the Kaiju Islands. There's that forearm shot Whoa. and a chop again. Look at his chest. His Clay Roberts' chest is just red. I think Clay Roberts loves that. He lives, breathes, oh, eats oh. wrestling. Was that a counter? I mean, he kind of hit the back of his head on a turnbuckle, but oh, oh. kick. There's that. stories that Clay Roberts sleeps inside of wrestling rings. That's going to crush your sternum. Just so he can dream about the steps he's going to take the next day. <laughs> That's what I heard. The man is wrestling. Oh, that was kind of a belly flop to the back right there. I mean, it was pretty. I think he drove his knee into the rib cage. Well, whatever it is. Oh, it was, look at that ring awareness. It was See, effective. you see that eyes closed as he was asleep dreaming of yes. the ropes saving him. He knows where he is, He man. knows every inch of that ring. He knows where he is. I, I mean, I've said this a lot of times tonight, and I'm going to say it again, but this is probably the most earnest I am when I say it. That man, Clay Roberts, has a high wrestling IQ. Very much so. He probably has the highest wrestling RQ that we've seen tonight. Some people call him Mr. Wrestling. <laughs> really? I just did. It's going to stick. Okay. Mr. Wrestling himself with the hook. <laughs> ah, no. there, there's Lions with the return. Turn about Again, play. I love you, Clay Roberts, but you need to know Chris Lions ain't nothing to mess with. Chris Lions is forever. But Clay Roberts may be the black hole to end forever. I mean, this is... I got poetic. I like this. It. Somebody write down my stuff. I need an, a ghostwriter. Let's write a book. An epic matchup. Oh, no. Oh, little. He was going for that figure four, but... Whoa, kick out. I said there wasn't going to be any schoolboys. They pulled out the schoolboy. Why are you making me look like a liar, Lions? I love you. Well, that wasn't the schoolboy. It was like a small package. Small package. You're yeah, true. yeah, it's fine. You're okay. You're okay. still okay. I got scared. Yeah. I got scared. Thank you. Thank All you. All right, but there was that me. kick to the head. There's another small package. Oh. One, two. Oh. Oh. A little bit of a slow count there. I thought that was should have been three, but I'm glad it wasn't. Clay Roberts is about to kill that referee. <laughs> I feel bad for that old man. <laughs> he about to wrestle you. You about to get grappled. Crossface chicken wings coming. Yep. Oh, he's uh -oh. he's taking off the tape. Taking it the tape is, off the arm. Get it. It's about to go down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to Mr. Garcia who has to edit this. Yeah. You know, too loud. I don't think so. I pulled the bike away. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, he's perching Chris Lyons up top. There's a nice slap to the back. You know, you don't see slaps to the back as no, that often. Good. Clay Roberts, Mr. Wrestling, he'll yep. pull that out of the arsenal. Yes, he will. I'm not sure what Clay has in mind here. Maybe a German off of the ropes. But no, that's uh, that's not what's going to happen. Uh oh, roll Looks like off. we have a counter. And there it is. Saido oh. Suplex. That will jack your back. That'll crush your shoulders. That's a brutal, brutal throw, and there it comes a No, that man oh. pulled in the depths of his soul. I thought that was a Hit three the count. two count. I almost counted that as three, Chevy. I almost said it. The words almost came out of my mouth. This is wrestling, baby. Yes, sir. This is undisputed pro wrestling. This is UPW. Oh, now Chris Lyons. There's a lot of soul reaching right now. Oh, Both yeah. these men have to go deeper than they've ever been in this ring. This is very deep waters. What? What? Very Whoa, deep roll up, reversal. No, no, he's Whoa. going for that figure four type move again. Chris Lyons counted out of it the first time. He counted out of it the second time. Here it is the third. He's counted not. out again. Oh, now he just kind of gave up the, uh, uh -oh. the, the prone position. He gave up the back. He kind of invited him in. That him triangle. In. Yes, he invited, he invited Clay Robertson to get him into a hold. That was smart wrestling right there. 
He cut the circulation off the. Oh, here comes it. That I hand drops again. Clay it's Roberts over. is out. Ring it's that over. bell. He knocked out. Clay Roberts out in the middle of the ring, choked him out. For the Armada. I cannot believe it. This man is in disbelief. Mr. Wrestling himself. Lions retains the title, but not without losing a piece of himself in the ring. So much respect for both these Warriors. That was a very hard fought matchup. I think that was the most hard fought title defense Chris Lyons has had to date. That was amazing, it was a spectacle. The first time we see Clay Roberts, hopefully not the last in undisputed pro wrestling. Respect to both of these guys. But that is your UPW Cruiserweight Champion, the Concrete Dragon, Chris Lyons. Oh man, I'm all kinds of fired up, Chevy. I'm taking this headset off one more time. Who's the champion? <laughs> he heard you, Chevy. He heard you. That's right. You're the champ. You're the champ, Chris. No disrespect to my man, Clay no Roberts. No disrespect at all. Because that man, I've never seen Chris Line have to fight so hard to retain that belt around his waist. Both of these men have, are elevated after this matchup. Sometimes you can be elevated Look in a loss. That. Look at the respect right there. Clay Roberts is showing Chris Lyons. Bowing down uh -oh. to him. The respect is mutual. Both are bowing to each other. This is what professional wrestling should be all about. No, no attitudes. Just respect for the Warriors. There you go. I love it. I love it, Chevy. I love the match. I love the respect. All right, folks. We still have a little bit more coming for me. I may have jumped the gun. I may have jumped the gun a little bit earlier saying that we were going to have the tag team match. I was mistaken. We had the cruiserweight match, but now, now we're going to go into the tag team match. We're going to have that coming up. I'm running out of words to say, Abel Morales. Well, we're, this is such a hot night. <laughs> I became, I'm not even calling. I'm just a fan. I'm sucked into the action. I'm sucked into the wrestling. We've seen everything from high flying to hard hitting to grappling in a ring like we've never seen. This is what Undisputed Pro Wrestling is all about. We are UPW and everybody in this arena right now. We come together as a family to just pay respect to the art of wrestling. Back on, we back on, because it's about to go on, down. Guys, if you're not following the UPW story, we're moving into our main event, our tag team champion, Steven Stellar, getting this crowd wild. But if you don't know, our tag team champions, LMC, Los Mascabones, lost their title at Live Action Wrestling to Jason Sullivan and Jay Davis, and they are not happy about it. I wouldn't be happy I want happy to use either. words that I can't use on uh, Clear Life Media, but I'm not <laughs> going to use those words. So nope. they, they, they wanted their rematch. They threw their rematch clause out, yep. and it's happening right here. Gold Rush. Here he so, comes, Johnny Blade. The manager of champion. What is this? They're not coming down together? I guess not. Here's, here's the thing on social media, and I don't know how true it was. I'm not sure Jay Davis even gave Jason Sullivan the other belt. 
so, know what I mean? Yeah, what, what's going he, on there? He ha he's he, holding on to both belts? Because he, he said he did all the work, so he is the tag team champion. Well, that's a little uh, I did see haughty. a picture of him and his grandpa holding the belts together, which I totally loved, and I would wish his grandpa would have came and defended the titles with him, but uh, we're not <laughs> seeing that. Okay, well, he's coming out with both of the belts. The belts that are being defended, the UBW Tag Team yeah. Championships, that was won at Live Action Wrestling. So we, we, we could have had Sully two belts, but we don't have Sully two, but we two have belts. Sully wondering where his belt is. <laughs> Sully wondering where his belt is. Look, Johnny Blade running back to the back to make sure he enters with Sully as well. Shout out. <laughs> Johnny Blade doing his manager thing. You got to give him props. Yeah, you know, the uh, manager of champions, Johnny Blade, He's got to do whatever he's got to do. Joined at the table by Kirk Casper. What do you do, Kirk? What's up, guys? Hey, what's up, man? Saying, saying that. He's, I think he's here to support his man, Johnny Blade. I'm here to make sure that Blade Enterprise is truly represented oh. by our broadcasting crew we go. at Clear Life Media. I understand that. We've been so, giving shouts out to Clear Life Media all night. So we have a Blade Enterprise a sympathizer, I'd say. Uh, yeah, for sure. Ah, I there see. There was an application fee and everything. Kurt paid it. Application fee? He joined Blade Enterprise. We did, and they are a good representative uh, and sponsor of today's broadcast of Clear Life Media. Ah, okay. I did forget to mention that. The sponsor, Johnny Blade. But we have given crazy amounts of shout-outs to the heartbeat of Clear Life Media, Gardy Garcia. Yes. The man that makes it all happen. Yeah, Gardy Garcia apparently does everything. And and the one the apparently. one who and, and the real the real the the real person that puts their blood, sweat, and tears, the camera guys. Shout out to the camera guys. Yes. yes. Much love. They've done a great Braxton job. Today. And we love UPW. <laughs> and Blade Enterprise. Look look at oh, Sullivan! Oh look at that! Sullivan now getting his tag team champion All in right. the ring! Now we have Sully two belts. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Did, David. Wait a minute, did, did Sully, oh, which belt is that? Is that the UPW heavyweight? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't been able to keep track. They're, they're a team tonight, but it looks like a little dissension in the ranks. There is dissension within Blade Enterprise. really, Prices. I think the dissension is in LMC because we haven't seen them together in the ring, Sir, this in may a have UPW been a, ring. This may have been a bad time for you to join Blade Enterprises. Oh, but the thing is, is that at least one person will win, right? <laughs> so, Sullivan's title is definitely, I don't think, on the line tonight. Right, so right. Yeah. Jason Sullivan, the UBW Heavyweight Champion, as well as the UBW Tag Team Champion, with Clear Life Media. Jay Davis. Is, hold on. What is happening oh, right now? Look at that beautiful lowrider. Dropping in. Bonus coming in. H-Town style and driven by El Silencio himself. They got the slab. Oh, yeah. Back-to-back -back shows with killer cars. Hell right. yeah, man. That's how LMC rolls, babe. Two different cars. Two different cars. Is that kid driving? Who's the kid? Just a random kid. I think he's going to drive the car away. Hell yeah. That was Silencio with a new hairstyle. Oh, yeah. The crowd here at UPW absolutely love LMC Los Mas Cabrones. Former UPW Tag Team Champions, as you said, lost it at live action wrestling to these two. The kid's in the ring. Is he going? Who's this kid? I don't know. <laughs> Whose kid is this? Is this Silencio's kid? I don't think so. Did Silencio kidnap a kid? Uh, I I don't know. This will be an easy victory for Blade Enterprise. ¿Quién es este niño? Oh, here we go. Of course, Sully had to go grab a microphone. Jason Sullivan, always First talking all, trash. Oh. You know to tell the people of Santa Fe, Texas to shut up. Am I right? Yeah. Oh. El Silencio, El Silencio not being so silent, you know what I mean? Ooh. Translate that. He basically told him you need to be the one that shuts up. <laughs> basically. Shut the hell up. <laughs> so, Silencio, Silencio, 
We can set them up at the chant of L M C. Oh, here we go. L M C getting this crowd fired up. Bringing it back, baby. Bringing it back. The UPW family absolutely loves LMC. I do too. Man, and, and to be honest with you, them being in UPW has definitely elevated their career. They were kind of coming in, kind of young in the game. A year later, they're reigning defending tag team champions. Not at the moment, but we're going to see what happens tonight. This is it. Jay Davis, El Silencio in the ring right now. I'm excited about this match. Every match on this card has been on fire, but I might call this one. This may very well be match of the night, baby. It's for our tag team <laughs> champions. This is more than just a wrestling match. This is a grudge match. Like I said, Sullivan and Jay Davis stole those tag team belts in live action wrestling at a show that none of us were even at. That's true. Our belts were on the line, and they won them. They did. They won them. The last time we saw Jason Sullivan, didn't he have, like, cuts all over his face? He looks good right now. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it is the makeup. I should say face paint, I guess. Sully's, Sully's been in the game for a minute. Yes, he has. Sully is a veteran here at, uh, at UPW and all over Texas. Uh, live action wrestling, of course. All right. Looks like we're trying to get them to knuckle up. Oh, take over with the headlock. And then the head scissors. Can, can, we, can we talk about Jay Davis being one of the hottest rising stars in the Texas scene right now? Oh, yeah. I mean, he's getting caught up by every promotion that at one time kind of snubbed him. One time didn't give yeah. him a second look, uh -huh. and now they're calling him. And he's calling each one of them out, I mean, reminding them when he was trying to come up, they didn't give him a chance, and now this man's on fire, and they want to start calling? He'll wrestle for you, but he's going to remind you. Jay Davis has had a phenomenal year. The past couple of years, really. Tag oh, of sorts. Uh -huh. So right big to the Sully face. in the corner. So if you're representing Blade Enterprises. I, I guess. What do you do, Kurt? Yeah, Kurt, you, you're representing Blade Enterprises, right? Clear Life Media is sponsored by Blade Enterprise. Okay. So so, so uh, let me ask a hard question here. You already said this? Yes. Oh. No, no, we are on. a team. Hold on, Ooh. Chevy. Hold on, Chevy. <laughs> we are not like the, the team that's in there right now for Blade Enterprise. We're punching each other in the faces yet. I, I don't really know what so, you're talking about. But. but if you had to choose between Sullivan and Jay Davis, who would you choose? Here's, here's the backstory. Here's the backstory. Oh, that's <laughs> a tough question. I want to watch if, it square. If our fans don't recall, Jay Davis has a clause. He won a battle royal. He did. He did. To go after any belt in Undisputed Pro Wrestling. He hasn't yep. made the decision. Many people thought he was going to go after the Texas belt because of their war with Kid Ransom. Right. Oh. But some feel he may have his sights set on a higher title. Well, Tom Vega over there raining down those uh, and forearms. Look, look at the size difference. But Vega does not care. He's throwing everything he has into the big man. Ooh. Again, veteran of almost 20 years, Jason Sullivan has shed blood and made other people shed blood all over this country. <laughs> I mean, when Jay Davis won that battle royal to get that championship opportunity, that same night here in Santa Fe, I conducted an interview with Jason Sullivan asking him what were to happen if a member of Blade Enterprises were to win. And he said, we are a family. We will fight each other with respect. But I haven't seen any respect Not at between all. these two. I think Jake Davis lately. wants to be the big dog. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. But, you and know, that, in every that, family, there are brothers, right? Yeah. And that, that, that's yeah. how it is, right? I guess. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know. I'm just enjoying the tea. That's all I can say. I like it. LFC They're working together chance. good. There. I mean, it's in the record books. Jay Davis, Jason Sullivan. Woo. Oh, man, that chop. Jay Sully, as they call themselves. Oh, oh Jay they Sully. They don't call themselves that. I call them that. They're our tag team champions. It's in the record books. You can't take it away from them. That's true. Now, I would They're not. They're on a list that few men in this company have been on. Now, I would not call them tag team experts like LMC. Oh, look at those kicks by Adon Vega. I would definitely say that LMC have the oh, advantage. Oh, Hambone, you better watch out. You better watch out for Hambone. He's a national treasure. 
Hambone almost had an arm broken. Oh, here we go. Got Jay Davis set up in the ropes. And oh! oh! Shotgun slap hurt through the whole arena. And it's now he's got him in the corner. But I think he has oh, to set the Oh, that crowd's for Uno Mas. Oh! And Again, that double slap, man. That'll chafe your nips. That <laughs> will chafe your nips. <laughs> Poor Jay Davis. All right. Getting shot off of the ropes. Oh, the bounce back. Whoa. Double hip you toss. You see that? That's how a tag team moves. Yep. Experienced tag teams. That's, uh, hey, that's what side note, this elementary. is the first time we've seen them together in a couple shows. I really was feeling like I should invite them over to the barbershop, find a window of sorts. Little. Oh, yeah? I yeah. was just there earlier this week. Where are you? you? Look good. Yes. Is that what happened Ooh. to you? Ooh, it I'm looks sorry. good. Don't be, oh. Don't be starting. <laughs> the only barber in Galveston County that I know. Chevy. He's like, that's, that's why I go to him. He's the only one I know. He's the only one. <laughs> <laughs> when your options are limited. Yeah. Hey, hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take your money. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. First oh. elbow, taking Sullivan to the outside. I don't think the, Sully was expecting that. In the tag team world, you're cutting off the ring, cutting off the partner. There's nowhere to tag. That means it's a two-on-one situation. The numbers always win, my friend. Oh, oh no. Look, Sully coming in, dragging him out. Jason Sullivan with the I, underhanded tactics. It's hard to. Uh, oh. oh. Now, Don Vega just eight ring posts. Don't forget the size and strength of Sully. And he is one of the meanest people in Undisputed Pro Wrestling. He's big and he's mean. There's a reason why he's a UPW Heavyweight Champion. All my misgivings that I have about Blade Enterprises. Oh. Doesn't matter. He's still a big, mean dude. But in the ring, you got Jay Davis over here teeing off on El Silencio. El Silencio trying to fight back. He's trying to play in those shots. Now he's up to his feet. Jay Davis still raining oh. down a knee to the breadbasket. Oh, another one over there for Ardon Vega. Oh, I thought we went with Tortilla Holder. It's, yes, the Tortilla Holder. <laughs> <laughs> European uppercut. Another one from Jay Davis. I'm surprised Adon Vega's still on his feet, man. That Jay Davis is a, a powerhouse. He is. He is a thick. Letting out thick, those, those barks. Little shades of the old junkyard dog. The Rottweiler representing. Ooh, yeah. Woo. Threw him across the ring like yes. a small toddler. You ever thrown a toddler? I've never thrown a toddler. You Chevy, know, have you? You don't know what you're missing. I mean, we talked about this earlier in the broadcast. Yes, he's thrown toddlers before. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's an Olympic Look sport. At that. Look at it? that. Clean tag. <laughs> Clean tag from. Well, maybe maybe they're starting to solidify as a team. Javis and Whoa! Sullivan. Big chop. All right. To the Sullivan. chest. Radio. He's, he's throwing. Whoa! Oh, there they, maybe maybe we're, we're, we're uh, misinformed. Yeah. Look at this oh. teamwork. Oh, that's a splash. I don't want to be on the other end. That's a lot of Sully coming at you. That's like 400 pounds, right? 450, we weighed. Oh man, that's a whole lot of man. All right, uh, yeah. they're, look, they're they're, they're talking, work. giving them a thumbs up. Oh, they're working together. I didn't think we were gonna see this out of out of Jay Davis and Jason Sullivan. Oh, now that's the pin. That, no, two count. The biggest guy in the ring is with the smallest guy in the ring right now, and another two count. Right now, the LMC is at quite the disadvantage. You got the UBW heavyweight champion just raining blows onto the chest of Adon Vega. Just holding him down. Adon, just the size of Sully seems a little, I don't want to say helpless. It's not a word I want to, I want to use because right. I've seen LMC just rise from the ashes like a phoenix. Surprise everybody in this arena on some of the matches. I mean, they've been in some matches of the year. They've been yep. in steel cages. They've torn it up. Oh! oh! The defiantness on that slap. Oh! oh! Returning the favor is Sully. Sully oh! straight street fight you. He said, you want to start boxing? We'll start <clears throat> boxing. Like a rag doll. Oof. That was rough. And the tag from Jay Davis just as Sully was firing oh, up. Oh, okay. Now, Let's see the story play out. Now we're going They're back. Yelling? Going back to the dissension between the team. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Sullivan with the Sullivan. slap. No cares given. No cares given. Johnny Blade is trying to trying to rally his troops. 
Yeah, Johnny Blade. Where you at, Johnny Blade? Blade Enterprise doesn't look like, uh, what do you think over there, Kurt? How you feeling? Feeling great. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good Are you watching this match, Kurt? <laughs> mm. Vega, look at this. Going to the top, but. Oh, no. Here's oh, look at, look at Vega. that. Way up at the top. Oh, no, but he's being held on by Johnny Blade. And Just long spent. enough for Jay Davis to come back alive. Oh, my God. Over the head suplex. From the ropes. From, from the, the top rope. That was beautiful. That'll ruin your day. It will ruin your day. It was pretty, though. I mean, it's like a majestic swan. <laughs> uh, Vega went through the air. Didn't a, end. Didn't a, end as well as it could have been. A majestic Rottweiler. For him. Yeah, that was, that was a majestic Rottweiler move. This crowd trying to fire up with Don Vega so he can tag his partner, El Silencio. El Silencio trying to sneak into the ring a little bit preemptively. There's the tag on both teams. Jason Sullivan entering the ring. He's going to be met by El Silencio. Right. No, that's a clothesline. Did not move the big man. Another one. Same you thing. need something more powerful than that. He staggered, though. Off of the ropes. Another one. No, oh, he's he's clothesline. Down. Bringing the big man down. El Silencio's firing up. I love El Silencio, the only man I know to shush a crowd and get him fired up all in the same breath. That's what he does. Big elbow drop. Here comes the cover. One, two, three. No. Oh, I thought that Sully was it. kicking in. Oh, big boot. Ooh. Jay Davis cutting him off. Still a legal man. Sullivan, no tag. I mean, Jay Davis kind of kind of saved his partner there. I mean, you know, they want to stay champions. They like the gold. I mean, in Jay Davis's mind, he is the champions. They Both like belts. Yep. Sully's just there just to be in the way. Look at Hambo. He's scared Hambo. to get in the middle. Oh, no. Oh! oh! Big splash into Davis. That was Hambo down. He's a national treasure. That was He's a, a national treasure, Sully. That was a ham sandwich. But Sully capitalized on the fact that he knows the ref's down. That's how Sullivan does it. He's been doing it for 20 years. This he is going to hurt. Game. Oh, no. He has that kendo stick. El Silencio is kind of welcoming it, distracting him, but looks like Adon Vega is measuring him up from behind. There it is. Oh! oh! Kendo stick to no! the abdomen, to the rib cage. Sully is gasping for breath, barely standing to his feet. <laughs> Johnny Blade is waving his hat around, oh. trying to give him air, I guess. I don't know what's Man. happening. Rake of the eyes. It's like Al Altuve out Poking there. Poking the eyes. That Look at <laughs> it's like Altuve and Bregman out there swinging away. Oh, Kendo stick to the forehead. Oh, here comes the pin, but Hambone's still down. The National Treasure's still down. That would have been a four or five count. Where's my stripes? Where's my stripes? I'm going in. Nope. Oh, Jed Davis into that. Never mind. <clears throat> Johnny Blade has lost a hat <laughs> and his shirt. And his hair. <laughs> but that was Are a long time ago. Are you laughing at your boss? A little bit. A little bit. It's not, brotherly love. Not a boss. Sponsor. Sponsor. There's Sponsor. differences. <laughs> Anthony's not here, so it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. All right. And off the road. Here comes Jay Davis. Oh! Double, double spear. spear. That Rottweiler is on fire. You don't go into the big dog yard. There's a cover still. Hambo's no out. Ref. Do we have a second ref? Hambo is out. No way. He's he's conscious enough where he's counted one. Now it's a two. Two. And... Oh, oh, kick out from El Silencio. Now, you know what? This is a nail biter. You know this what? is a nail biter. That was a the long The fans count. of Santa Fe, Texas are on the edge of their seats. Johnny Blade is ripping up fan banners, flipping stairs. Be careful next to that car, Johnny Blade. Johnny Blade's just stripping down to his skivvies out there in anger. Best sponsor of Clear Life Media. <laughs> Guardy's here. Well, Guardy's not a sponsor. He's an employee. Oh, you know, he's the owner, operator, oh, heartbeat. Well, there you go. Does all the work. Even better. We'd be nothing without Guardy. <laughs> oh, Johnny Blade has that championship belt in his hands. Not sure if it's the tag belt or the heavyweight belt. He just handed it off to Jay Davis. And Sully is holding. I think we've seen this in the past, he's and it has not worked out. No. Oh. Oh, he knew oh. it. Oh. Jay Davis did it on purpose. He hesitated. Sully, he knew what he was doing. World has been rocked by his own belt. Jay Davis. He is seeing stars. The room is spinning. Oh, oh he ate a big super kick. Big super kick. Davis is barely on his oh. jabs. Nice little punch what right there. He's getting set up. What is going down? Oh, oh. <laughs> La Mosca, oh. Out to the ring. Oh. 
Rising knee to the jaw of Sullivan. Ugh. Big form. What is happening? It is pandemonium. Oh, code breaker off the top rope. Backstabber mm -hmm. on the other side. Didn't get what all of it. Is happening. Blade Enterprises is falling apart. That's what's happening, Kurt. Johnny Blades and ripped the coat off. Oh, double drop kick, crushing the skull of Sullivan in the middle of the ring. Double hook, One, both men covering. Two, three, and we have new tag team champions. The belts have gone home to LMC. They will be low ridden out of Santa Fe, Texas tonight at UPW Gold Rush. The fans are going wild. This place is blowing up. We are in disbelief. They fought with their whole heart. New tag team champions as Blade Enterprise lays devastated in the middle of the ring. Viva los mascarones! Oh my goodness! What does this mean for Blade Enterprises? I have no idea. Jay Davis just hit Sullivan squarely in between the eyes with that championship belt. That cost them the match. Los mascarones did it. Offense after offense after offense, double drop kicks right to the noggin of Jason Sullivan, and they are standing tall with the UBW Tag Team the Championship. Dissensions in the ranks of Blade Enterprise. I want to see where this leads. We'll be okay. <laughs> we'll be okay. I hope so for your sake, sir, but this is UBW. This is Gold Rush. We got new tag team champs. They're celebrating in the ring. They got the kid with them. This is awesome. Now oh, the kid's pinning Sullivan. <laughs> kid I love better it. watch out. I've seen Sully throw toddlers too. <laughs> Shout out. It's your boy Chevy Chavaria from my man Abel Morales. That's right. That's we right. were here all night bringing the fire. This was UPW Gold Rush in Santa Fe, Texas. Brought to you by Clear Life Media. Thank you, Gardy Garcia. We are out. Thank you, guys. Happy birthday, John. Y'all have a good one.